mental illness. Victor Martinez with $2 says, don't you have to say allegedly for now? Well, no, because he was arrested for murder. Uh, allegedly, he did the murder. He, he hasn't been found guilty for the murder, necessarily, but he was arrested for the murder. That's just a fact. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the stream. I should turn the microphone the right direction. That, that'll help. Welcome to the stream. Um, I was planning on streaming tomorrow. It's been a while. It's, I didn't realize it's been over two weeks at this point. <clears throat> oh, the song was, uh, The Creator Has a Master Tape by Porcupine Tree. Uh, pretty, I had to, I was like, what song fits a murder stream? Oh, most songs by Porcupine Tree. And I just found that one. Um, but yeah, I was going to stream tomorrow, uh, because later today, me and my homies are playing Halo over on the, the Dead Wing server. Um, we're going to be doing some custom stuff and, uh, that's going to be taking out most of the evening, but I, oh, sneeze. Oh, that was a good sneeze. Uh, but I, um, I woke up this morning and I checked my, uh, my chat, you know, my, my friend's, uh, group and, uh, Tristan, 
who's I think in the the chat currently, uh, Tristan J, who made the thumbnail by the way, uh, Tristan, uh, informed us all that uh, he uh, what what was the exact quote? Let me find the exact quote because for obvious reasons it immediately uh, stuck out to to people. Uh, well, I just found out a YouTuber I've watched for ten years murdered a pregnant woman. How's y'all's mornings? And then Gabe said, what? I can't believe Doug Walker would do this. Um, but yeah, so this is um, a Doctor Who YouTuber. Uh, he, he, his name is Vote Saxon 7 And uh, I'm a Doctor Who, sort of a Doctor Who fan. I haven't, you know, watched it in a while. I understand the new series is actually going to be good. Because because Russell T Davies is back and uh, and and everything is gonna be everything is gonna be just like it was when 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 I was younger and everything was better, but um, but yeah, uh, Doctor Who YouTuber he's been around for a while and uh, he uh, I guess he talks about Doctor Who he does like toy reviews he does um, he reviews like toy lightsabers toy sonic screwdrivers things like that. And, uh, yeah, uh, essentially what happened, uh, as far as, as far as we could tell, um, I think it was on Christmas or somewhere around Christmas, he hosted a live stream for the first time in, like, two years he live streamed. Uh, he has not done so in, like, a, a while. Um, and he randomly hosted a live stream called the Violent Night Christmas Gaming Stream. Which, uh, you know, foreshadowing is a powerful surprise tool that we can use for later. But uh, it was called Violent Night, and he was playing GTA Vice City. And the thing was, he wasn't um, streaming. He recorded it before the stream went live. and Or at least, this is what's being alleged, anyway. This is what police cyber experts or whatever have said, that he essentially staged the recording hours before uh, he actually put it live, and then he used the fact that he was technically streaming at the time as an alibi, this is a, this is all alleged, as an alibi for him uh, heading, like, across town and uh, killing his girlfriend, his pregnant girlfriend. Um, so we are going to be watching some of that stream, and uh, but first I will look for... There was a video talking about it this morning, kind of a... Kind of like a short thing. Yeah, Vote Saxon 07 charged with murder. Uh, this is from a channel called Six Sec. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll glory to this individual for reporting on it. But, uh, oh, is it, is it displaying? It is. Okay. Uh, yeah, Lisburn man Stephen McCullough appears in court charged with murder of Natalie McNally in Lurgan. Uh, this is from ITV News. And, yeah. All I can say to this is... Holy shit. I honestly... What... Like... What do you say to this? So, for those who don't know... Stephen McCullough, a.k.a. on YouTube, Vogue Saxon 07. Alright, well, I'm sure this guy's video is cool, but I kind of just want to get to, like, the... I should just go to the, U, the, the ITV link, but... Yeah. A man has appeared in court charged with the murder of Natalie McNally. Stephen McCullough, 32, from Woodland Gardens, Lisburn, was remanded into custody after appearing in Lisburn Magistrate's Court over the murder of 32... 32-year-old. That, that's good. That's... This is... There are multiple spelling errors in this article. How fucking... You, you people deserve to be replaced by AI. Jesus Christ. She was killed in her home on December 19th. She was 15 weeks pregnant at the time. McCullough did not speak during Thursday's hearing, which lasted almost an hour. The court was told he denies the charge. During the hearing, the court was told how there was a relationship between the accused and Miss McNally. He had met the family a couple of occasions prior uh, to the killing and had been with them after. Uh, the court now heard... Let me see. The court heard how he appeared to be on YouTube streaming to his 37,000 subscribers a game of Grand Theft Auto for six hours on the night of the murder. However, police cyber experts believe he had pre-recorded the streaming and played it out as if it were live. A detective said during the footage, McCullough tells his followers he is unable to interact with them. And we're going to get into this stream in a little bit. That's going to be kind of the the focus, I guess. Um, I should say, I've actually recently, in the past, like, two weeks since I've last streamed, I've been getting into, like, the, the true crime 
JCS kind of side of YouTube. Uh, and so this is a very interesting thing to happen all of a sudden. Uh, not, not, not any kind of, um, not any kind of, uh, body language analysis expert or whatever, but something tells me there's going to be some, uh, interesting moments in this stream that he recorded, like, hours before the murder. Um, let's, uh, let's, there's more to this article here. Detective Chief Inspector Neil McGinnis told District Judge Rosie Waters that while McCullough denies involvement in Natalie McNally's murder, he has conceded in police interviews that the purported live stream was pre-recorded by him days earlier. Oh, it was days earlier. Okay. Well, he was still planning it, obviously. The, uh, uh, allegedly, the court was told that McCullough was initially arrested in the wake of the murder, but then ruled out as a suspect on the basis of the alleged live stream alibi. McCullough, who works in the local media industry, then went on to interact with the McNally family in the weeks that followed. He claimed that the accused left his phone in the room, his phone in the home of McNally's parents, uh, and recorded 40 minutes of audio. You know, totally normal, uh, innocent behavior. Uh, this guy, I guess, just like surreptitiously recorded his victim's parents to see if they were getting wise to the to the scheme, allegedly. I honestly do not know. No. Detective Chief McGinnis uh, said he believed that this was McCullough, uh, McCullough attempting to determine if the family suspected him of involvement in the murder. The chief came after, or the charge came after a review of fresh CCTV footage, which police believe shows the, the accused on a bus to Lurgan. He was hooded, wearing a mask, and double gloved. Uh, well, you know, not all of us can wear two gloves. God damn it. Uh, police say the man on the bus was wearing, was carrying an Asda bag, and at one point the footage, described as of high quality, appeared to show a small black backpack in the bag, which was similar to the one on the CCTV outside the alleged victim's Silverwood Green home. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of evidence that's pointing to this guy. McCullough watched proceedings via video link from a police custody suite. He was remanded in custody to appear, blah blah blah. So, I don't know if there's... I don't think there's any more to this. Uh, if you want to go check out this guy here, Six Sec, who, you know, made this video, he, you should uh, probably do that. He's got, a, I think, a few other uh, little videos about this, but, uh, you know, we're we're focusing on the, uh, the article part of that video because I was too lazy to just look up uh, ITV or whatever. But, uh, yeah, uh, so that's Vote Saxon 07. And, uh, you know, it's interesting because Tristan, who is probably still in chat, let me check the chat here, Tristan mentions that he has, um, peep DMs in a couple minutes, okay. Uh, he, he has been watching this guy for ten years. This guy, you know, Tristan's a big Doctor Who fan, and he's been watching this guy, you know, talk about, uh, talk about Chris Chibnall and whatnot. And there was a thing earlier people were saying, I think Tristan was like, he always had, like, jokes about stabbing Chris Chibnall, and I thought it was just a funny haha, but I guess not. Also, I should play this, uh, uh, Tristan made this, and, uh, let me see here. Uh, yes. Thank you. Copy that, and just go ahead and... Da -da -da. Oh, what's going on in the chat? Yeah, I saw the peep DMs, God damn it. Let me just, uh... So let's uh, let's let's jump into vote Saxon here, and this is uh, this guy. And oh god damn it! Would you just open the goddamn god damn it? Well, this is fine, fine, fine. I really hate Windows sometimes. It really makes everything like extra bonus complicated in a way that it, it usually doesn't need to be. You know, I mean. I'm oh, oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. So. So uh, here's a little 10 second clip to get you into to, to get you into uh, vote Saxon 07 here. This is a little taste of his content. And I took a flat bladed knife, as you can see here, and I literally sat on my sofa one night with my girlfriend while we we're watching TV and uh, we stabbed them to death. And um, yeah, that's something that <laughs> I'm sorry, that's probably in poor taste, but Tristan made that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty. Uh... Hmm. He does seem to have a lot of uh, stabbing-related jokes or whatever. That seems to be a common theme. Um, we're going to get into this guy's live stream now. This is... Uh, well, you know, hang on. Hang on. Because he's been making videos since. That's what's crazy. 
He's been made, he, well, he made at least one video since. Um, he did this stream, right? And yeah, he hasn't streamed in like a year. Let me show, let me show it here. Uh, his last stream was a year ago. He talks about Ghostbusters Afterlife, and then one month ago, all of a sudden, out of the, out of the blue, he decides to stream again. Uh, and yeah, it's called the Violent Night Christmas Live Gaming Stream. And that was a month ago, and then, like, you know, nine days ago, he did this. Uh, so, you know, he's got some selling collectibles on eBay. Everything must go. Wow, I can only imagine the people that own this guy's collectibles right now. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, so, you know, you can see Doctor Who YouTuber. Unfortunately, the 13th Doctor has action figures. That's really unfortunate. Uh, let me see if Tristan DM'd me. He, he has. Um, okay. We got some tweets here. Huh. Let me see here. Tristan's hitting me with brand new information, sorry. 2022 was the worst year of my life. You will never know the levels of suffering, loss, and cruelty I was subjected to, and I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I'm not okay, and I don't think I ever will fully be myself again. I've just lost too much. But I'm still here. And, uh... Yeah, you sure are still here. In spite of everything, you remain, don't you? Uh, oh, everybody supports him. Don't worry. All the hell you've been through, blah, blah, blah. Can't see 2023 being much better for you, but at least you'll be alive for it, unlike poor Natalie. Yeah. Yeah, rot. Um, so, I mean, again, this is all, I, I suppose, technically alleged. But, I mean... I don't know. I, again, if you've watched one fucking JCS video, there's probably some some tells you'll pick up on a little bit. Uh, what's what's this other tweet here? Uh, well, we got this. Surprise! Join us in two hours' time for some festive streamy goodness live, kicking off at 6 p.m. And yeah, this is the stream, indeed. Uh, People are, you know, watching the streams. Vile scumbag, an excuse of a man, doesn't deserve air. Murder, not manslaughter. Yeah, I mean, this was pretty, pretty, seemingly premeditated, I would say. Um, let me see here. <laughs> oh, dear. Thought this was funny, and it is. Laugh, damn it, laugh. And it's like a Doctor Who meme. You know, you got this, uh, these figures here. And I guess this one's, like, looking better, or this one's not looking so good. And then this guy posts, I have a better one for you, trust me, it's hilarious. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you know, horrible situation. It's, uh... You know, the nature of this channel to make uh, jokes about things. Uh, so, yeah, we will be we will be doing that. But, uh, yeah, it is a very unfortunate situation. I don't know, obviously, much about this this woman or this guy even. But um, I don't know. It's pretty fucked up. Uh, it's pretty fucked up. I would like to see whatever kind of uh, interrogation footage there is of this guy, if that ever happens. But, uh, yeah, without any further ado, we're gonna get into this, uh, Violent Night Christmas live gaming stream. He claims to have been live, but in fact it was, like, pre-recorded, apparently. Uh, well, I don't know about in fact, but according to the police, it was pre-recorded. I think according to him, also, he also said- So, yes, as a matter of fact, this was not a live gaming stream. This was a pre-recorded gaming stream for some reason. Why would you ever do that? I don't know. Um, let's watch. You can see I've already disliked it here, and I pointed out, Great stream title, bud! I'm sure that won't come up in court. Uh, the Violent Night- I mean, I mean, that's, that's like, that's like pouring salt in the wound. I don't know, that's pretty bizarre. Oh god. The stream is six hours. I'm sure somebody can comb through all of it. We're gonna, you know, jump around a bit, but let's get it started at least. Yeah, 
Jesus fucking Christ, imagine if my stream started like this instead of with actual music. I mean, I guess this is actual music. It's just incredibly loud and chintzy, like, trumpets. Hey! Somebody in the comments, I think, points out that he, like, he, he pretends to be like, oh, is it live? Are we live? Uh, at the beginning. So, I mean, I guess, again, the charade of all of this video is going to be that he is claiming to be live, but he, I guess at multiple points, he's like, oh, I can't interact with the chat, by the way, ha 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 Hey, and we're live. Hello, Hang everyone. On. Hang on, I gotta move the bear. I gotta move the fair use bear. This is not, this is not working. Uh, move that down here, and, uh... There you go. You know, just be, be Merry Christ Bear. There you go. Fair fair use Christ Bear. That's the new that's the new meme. There you go. Um yeah, a little bit out of the blue this, isn't it? But, yeah, a little um, bit. Hang on, my levels are just a night. A little bit out of the blue. It's funny how you haven't streamed in like a year, and then all of a sudden, the stream just randomly happens. And then all of a sudden it also turns out that it wasn't actually a stream. You you just, you know, randomly decided to pre-record a stream and pretend it was live, but... No, no, you're you're innocent. Mer. You're innocent. There we go, bring that down a little bit. Uh, and that could be a little bit better framed, but uh, that's the fun of being live. Uh, yes, so, hello, hello <coughs> to all on this glorious Sunday evening. Um, yeah, so, I just thought, why not? I'm gonna do a live stream, because uh, this day next week is Christmas. Uh, so... So... He did this like four or five days before, so he would have had to have, like, I guess he plotted out a specific date if we're to follow that logic. Because he, you know, he specifically points out that it's Sunday. He knew specifically a day that this would be going live, that he would do this, uh, allegedly. I wonder, I wonder what it was specifically about that day. Maybe something in her schedule or something. What more could you want for Christmas other than a, a an evening with your old pal Steven? Yeah, that's true. He did say that's the fun of being alive or something, didn't he? Did he? Did he say? Yeah. Hmm. Dun dun dun. Um, I genuinely do not know how long this stream is going to last for, and I've decided I'm gonna play around with it and do something a little bit different. Um, I, I wanted to do a live stream, and I've been wanting to do one for quite some time now. Only trouble is, there's a, there's a couple of elements, shall we say, that have been preventing me from doing anything. Uh, mostly it, it has been work, and um, it has been stuff in my private life. It's also been mm. the fact that the, this computer is on its last legs. Uh, I think the guy who made the video that we just watched, that uh, Six Sec guy, I think it was his channel was called, he... I think it was him mentioned, like, the dude's had some trouble in his past couple years, like his mom and dad both died in the last two years. Uh, so I guess he maybe got, like... When he's talking about having problems in his personal life, I'm sure... Uh, that might mean more than just whoever he stands accused of murdering. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess he kind of went off the deep end, maybe. Uh, the fact that I've had so many YouTube videos to work through. Uh, it's all been a bit of a nightmare. Yes, it has. In fact, uh, to tell you a wonderful little story, all this past week, I have been trying to hook up a PS3 to this uh, streaming software. Is it streaming? Yes, it is. Oh, thank God. Uh, and it's just been a complete disaster. Like, I've went out, I've bought new cables, capture card, everything. Nothing. That's a shame, I don't uh, care. It's like a streaming goodness back in uh, 2020. Uh, but with different games. Yeah, I went out, yeah. bought different games. Uh, one in particular I'm, I'm looking to play tonight. But my original <clears throat> idea for this was a fancy playing a bit of Grand Theft Auto 4. I haven't played Grand Theft Auto 4 in a long time, and I'm Okay, thank you for the... Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be a great stream. He decides to play Vice City. And, uh, you know, let's let's get into Vice City here. Come on, now. Joe, I actually had an Amstrad computer my parents got at an auction. Oh, that's Because cool. they thought that it could be used as a home computer. They Did you have Splatterhouse on the Amstrad? These were the graphics. Because I remember I played, uh, Burner. You ever played Manhunt there, Saxon? Rubber. 
Um, Ginger Happy Gaming, you're probably in the live chat. Uh, you'll you'll probably know this. Yeah, so I had an Amstrad computer with a copy of Burn and Rubber. I also had um, The Simpsons, Bart versus the Space Mutants as well. Um, I'll just let this intro play. I think that the theme music of Vice City is okay. I think it's not copyrighted, so we should be all right. But I'm still going to talk over it anyway. In fact, you know what? I might dip the audio a little bit. Yeah, you want to be safe. Yes. Um, you want to make sure you maximize your revenue for your channel this year. Back in the day, I had an Amstrad computer with uh, with with all my classic games on that. Uh, but Burning Rubber, that was that was the sauce, man. Back in the day, that was that was oh, Keno. Yeah. That was top tier. That was Keno. Um, but yeah, like I, I remember, man. Like this, this just felt like such hot shit back in the day huh. for uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. So like, all right, let's get into gameplay here, because I understand he starts getting real murdery real it's quick. Like, how the fuck do you pull up your guns and shit? Whoa, bro, settle down. It's just you just started the game. Hope you're having a good time. Hope you're enjoying this. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people have clicked off by the time I've even started playing this. So. Wow, that's quite a cloud, Add Jesus. yourself a Vice City Christmas. Let your heart be light. These graphics oh, are... shut the fuck up. ...are outdated and shy. Man, they say that old, old time games didn't fuck around, but seriously, that was, that was, a, that was a massive cutscene. A little bit of driving down the street and around the corner, followed by another cutscene. That's one thing I do like about the original version of this, though, that Tommy Versetti's face looks great. Like, he just, he looks like an old, hard-seasoned criminal, and then you see him in the remaster, and he looks like a Barbie doll. Well, that is true. That is true. He's also just complaining about how many cutscenes there are in Vice City or something. It's almost like the game is an homage to movies. Money! Money! Six twenty. So like, you know, the main thing here is playing this game, but the whole time we're watching this guy up here. We're not paying attention to any of this. The game is all just whatever. <coughs> Unfortunately, he picked a good one. He couldn't have played like, I don't know insert joke game here that's not actually that bad he couldn't have been playing last of us too all right that one is bad but uh no yeah we're mostly watching him up here uh and you know we're looking for the little towels we're looking for the squint of the eyes we're looking for you know things like that because i mean again this is something that he planned out days beforehand at least i mean god knows how far back this goes uh shit dude I've always wanted Tommy Versetti's shirt. Well, you're gonna have a nice orange one in prison. I can't find it anyway. There's there's a lot of places like there's places around Halloween that pop up on Facebook going like, look, we have Tommy Versetti's shirt, and it turns out it's a terrible scam. Never buy anything from Facebook. It's just a lie. I uh, got my fingers burnt there once. Yeah, smash that phone. Ah, oh, yeah, that's good. No, my smash phone. That big fucking eighties phone, you bastard. <laughs> yeah, smash that phone like you smash that. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Everybody having a good time. <laughs> Why are you laughing like a maniac, dude? You're like sitting there alone. It's not like he read his chat and somebody said something funny and he like, ha, 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 that's funny, you know. He was just like, what? What is this exchange? Smash that big fucking eighties phone, you bastard. <laughs>, laughs at nothing. Everybody having a good time? <laughs> Big laugh at nothing. All right, where am I going? So the good thing is, Vice City is quite small. What the fuck? Just like the fetus. What did I do? How the fuck do I have a fucking fuck off? Fucking wanted level. Get away! Get away! Fuck vote off. Saxon. Duck down the the alley. I'm a very angry gamer, by the way, just, um... Oh. Give you a heads up. Well, see, this is unfortunate, because so am I, and this is going to make us all look bad. It's like me, DSP, and this guy. Good grief. You know what? I don't think I'm doing too bad with the controls. Oh, and wings. Can't forget wings. 
I, again, I have no idea how long the stream's going to last for before either I get too drunk, too tired, or I just give up, or the the stream and the computer itself just crash. Uh, you should have give, given up long ago. Just like a motherfucker. Where am I heading? I'm going in the wrong bloody direction. Oh yeah, low tier god, that's true. I've never watched any low tier god. Somebody needs to like put together some some good Kino moments, and we can we can we can get into that sometime. What have I got? How to warm my fucking glasses, mate? Oh, and uh, shout outs to uh, fifty dollars from the Plub. Uh Here's from one. Uh, here's from from one millennial boomer to another. Yeah, I'm just because you gave me fifty dollars doesn't mean I'm I'm letting you go on that that extra from. What was that? Oh God! Thanks for reminding us that we're all relatively normal people and could all be worse. <laughs> Yes, uh, you know, this might be one of the more, I mean, there's the, there's the zoo, uh, the, the zoo freaks, I guess, but this is like your more conventional, just scummy feeling, uh, kind of, kind of, kind of thing. Uh, that, that, the, the zoo sadist thing was so, like, outlandishly, cartoonishly evil that it almost didn't even register as real. Like, I, I think part of why I was able to get through that stream so, you know, if, efficiently, I guess... I don't even remember how I was in that. Maybe that's not true. Maybe I was, I, I think I was, I think I was screaming a lot, but, uh, <laughs> I was able to get through it because it was so, like, surreally, bizarrely, like, evil. And this is just your kind of run-of-the-mill, like, I'll oh, just fuck that guy evil. Not like, not like deep existential dread about mankind itself evil. But still pretty bad, you know? But, uh, in a way, this is almost more effective because it, again, is just more commonplace. You're just like, oh man, he just, he just killed a pregnant woman. What the fuck, bro? It's not, it's not like some, some, some fucking comic book insanity zoo sadism plot that you, this is like fucking next level bullshit. Like, <laughs> this is like almost worse somehow. I really hope, no matter how long the stream goes on, I don't get to that fucking mission. We have to race that prick so he'll be your driver in the, uh... The bank heist. Oh, that one does Fuck suck. You. But you have no problem with the plane flying mission? Man, yeah, you where, are a where psycho. Are to go? go to the L on the map! Take the fucking L, loser! Oh no, it's around the corner, isn't it? Can I cut through here? Yes, I can. Uh, day, day, well, we're day. saying allegedly because he hasn't been convicted of murder yet. He's been, I think, arrested and charged for the murder. Uh, so you can say that he has been arrested, but technically he's not been found guilty yet. However, I mean, let's be honest here. We can all fucking tell certain, there are cer just certain behaviors that normal people would have that this guy doesn't have, or I guess more accurately, there are certain things that th this guy is doing that are not normal, uh, that kind of raise a lot of red flags. So, there it is. I don't know. I'm, will, I'm willing to assume a little bit. Go we'll see, uh, Mr. What do you call him? Rose, Rosebert Rosenwood? What the hell? Rosenberg. Rosenberg. I've literally forgotten his name. What's his name? That's not. Uh, you got a lot on your mind there, buddy? Set up properly. Uh, that's a little bit better. Ken Rosewood, isn't it? Oh, why don't you ask your chat? Oh, wait. You're gonna roll over and die. He's in uh, San Andreas. Somebody says they've actually met this guy in real life. Good lord. That's, uh, that's very interesting. Uh, what was... Uh, what, what was that situation like? Also, Tristan was... Uh... Yeah, I guess XGF, I mean, if I had to, uh, if I had to speculate, you know, objection judge speculation, I would, uh, I would probably, like, assume that maybe the baby that she was pregnant with was not his, and he was, like, upset about that, or something like that. I mean, that's, like, your basic, your basic first, first guess, I don't know, um, that might not be what it was, but like, yeah, I guess X, that, that makes some sense. Uh, 
Peep for peep the comments for timestamps once you get bored. Oh, interesting. Uh, screaming, I will kill you all. So much anger if you watch the whole stream. So yeah, he might be kind of fairly chill now, but he hasn't gotten to the murder yet. Well, but I'm I sure mean, he... the video game murder. He knew that. He's kind of still just driving around talking to Rosenberg and, and whatnot. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess three hours in, it starts to go off the fucking rails. I'm sure toward the end, it does get like progressively more questionable but we will jump ahead like tristan said whenever whenever we get bored everybody knows that he's in last venturus working with the mob clearly uh right with idea. a very serious coke problem oh, and i ain't talking about coca-cola son mm -hmm. I want to judge, I mean, I guess I do want to judge this guy in general because he's, you know, seems seems like he's kind of an asshole, but, uh, you know, to put it, to put it li lightly, but, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people, Tristan and a lot of other people apparently have been wa watching this guy's stuff for like a decade, so I don't want to be just like, you know, totally full on like, oh, this guy's, you know, cringy, he's not funny. I mean, he's not that funny, I, I would say. I would imagine he might have been better and at some point in the past uh to make people want to follow him uh I, I would assume but yeah i mean yeah actually never mind fuck this guy yeah man that would be a sweet christmas or christmas fuck uh that would be a sweet halloween outfit tell me you know like get his, his chain and everything and the watch and uh... how about like you know you know i don't know freddy krueger or uh you know, Jason Voorhees, one of those. Well, I, I don't know. Just, you know, I think that might fit your vibe better. Um, the Hawaiian shirt, the jeans. And the OJ white. Simpson, maybe? Without the blackface, but, Jeez. you know. I think that would be a really great costume. I don't think a lot of people would know who the fuck you are. Because the, like, the thing is, if I wore that outfit, people would just think, what are you, some generic fat guy from Hawaii? You know? Um... Yeah, he got, like, upset at the word Christmas for some reason. But if someone who was in a slightly... Somebody says he got banned? Like... No, he's still he's still here. The reason I... One of the reasons I'm doing the stream so early... Oh, there is a chat replay here. That's interesting. One of the reasons why I'm doing the stream, um... At this time... Is because I'm a little bit concerned. I was able to save this guy... This, this video... But I'm a little bit concerned that uh, this this channel might get, like, you know, YouTube might come along and just delete all his videos, which they tend to do whenever somebody, you know, does something horrible like this, which, knee-jerk, you're kind of like, I, I guess that makes sense, but it's kind of, I don't know, it it's kind of a good thing to keep those videos up for people to, like, I don't know, study them, you know, I, I don't know. A lot of Randy Stare videos apparently got just lost forever. Uh, cause YouTube, you know, swept all his shit off his channel after he did his shooting and like, even though the videos weren't technically breaking any rules, those specific ones, and they by all accounts should be on the site, uh, I understand the rage that might make people think, well, just wipe this guy off, but you know, but like, I don't know, it's, it, it, it's interesting to, to return to these for analysis, you know. Just, um, to do exactly what we're doing now. The, the, the cheats and... So here he is shopping for the murder weapon. I the weapons. I think everyone did that. I'm sure there's somebody in the comment section going, Oh, well, actually, I don't. Well, actually, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing so much? That wasn't funny. That was not... This is very maniacal. I mean, that's really wacky. Is it not? I'm sure there's somebody in the comment section going, Oh, well, actually, I don't. Well, actually, I don't give a fuck. That wasn't much of a joke. That was like maybe at most, I at most you give yourself a little, huh, and even then that would seem a little weird and smug. Like, huh, yeah, fuck you, I don't even care. But he goes, he, he like... <laughs> that is, uh, that is insane. Mm. Right. Am I supposed to buy a gun, or can I just fuck off? Yeah, you can just fuck off and, and you know, die in a ditch or something. I'll buy a gun. Give me all your guns! How much money do I have? 112. 
I got a pistol anyway. Right, fuck it. Hope wished. Ah. Right, okay. So it's the 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 D pad that controls. I'm glad he's already got the cleaver. I don't know if it's um not I don't know if it's like public knowledge how the woman died, how how uh she was she was killed, but uh I I mean the guy seems to have a thing for knives. Where the um what weapon comes up. I've had multiple people point out that the dude has like a weird obsession with knives on his channel and cutting open packages and shit and jokes about stabbing people involved in like terrible Doctor Who episodes or whatever. Uh so I mean I would just maybe assume it was a stabbing. I'll say but that's I'll just say an I'll assumption. Get I'll get you now. He hasn't killed a single NPC yet, says someone. Yeah, I, that is interesting. I mean, there, there's a part there when he was exiting the weapon store and he passed by a guy when he was getting into his car. I was like, is he going to, you know, hit the guy or something? No, he's like weirdly not. I think I, I think it's more normal for people to kill people in GTA. But I, again, he... He does start, you know, screaming that he'll he'll kill everybody later or something. So there is that. Fuck me, Tommy Versetti only has one hundred and twelve pounds or one hundred twelve dollars to his name. He's one hundred twelve pounds richer than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> that wasn't a hint, by the way. Don't don't super chat or anything like that. Because it, no, it's you'd waste it's criminal. Money. It's criminal time. You know, it's time to be a Scrooge, be selfish. So the guy. This is like, you know, I'm not a psychologist or anything, but there's just a lot of weird little, like, this self-pity. Oh, I have no money. Oh, but don't give me any money. Oh, no. And, and now he's, like, talking about it's, t it's Christmas, it's time to be selfish. So, uh, a, a psychologist would have a field day with this. I, I really hope that this... I saved the stream. So if if it does go down, at least I have a an archive of it, and I can maybe upload it somewhere. But uh, yeah, this is very interesting. It's a very subtle. I mean, again, this is a long ass stream, and you you would have to sift through all of it for all of the little subtle moments where he's acting kind of fucking unhinged. But like you you get like a super cut of all of those moments, and this would be quite a fucking video. I'll be watching you, Tommy. Fuck out of this game. Just give me a decent remaster. That's all I ask for. I mean, you know, the one we got was okay, but if um, if we could get like a lovely modern day version of it, I would love that. Did that save? I mean, the new GTA the song. is gonna be in, in Vice City. Hotel. So that kind of is what's happening. Size the guide. I'm getting a phone call using the left trigger. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. as much with GTA 5, but then again, it was a game made for the PS3 and it was fucking massive and really ambitious. So they kind of had to scale back on a couple of things that they introduced in GTA 4. But I fucking cannot wait for GTA 6. And I've been waiting for what? How many years has it been now? Nine it's years? It's been ten years in September. Nine fucking years, so... A little bit. Those are some massive vape clouds, though, bro. I mean, I don't I don't have a, one of those big things. I got one of the little s fucking s sticks where you plug a cartridge into. But I... Wow, he's... He's he's pulling on that thing for, like, less than a second, and he's, and he's, he's drawing, like... like God damn! Apparently vapes are a fucking nightmare for damp as well, so... Have to be careful about viping in the house. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> don't you worry. Won't be an issue for long. This place would be a fucking disco by the You know, it's funny how many things he come he he might bring up in the stream, like, oh, I don't want to be vaping in the house, that might cause this. Oh, you don't need to super chat me, I that's and it's like it's funny how many issues he technically did solve for himself by <laughs> getting himself arrested. 
Like, oh yeah, you know, I guess you don't need to worry about money anymore now that you're going to probably be in fucking prison for the rest of your life. Guess you really don't need to worry about vaping in the house now that you're going to be in the much bigger house. Yeah, I mean, not the really the best way to solve issues in your life, but I don't know. That that is that is bizarre. Dog everywhere. Kind of looked like it did earlier. That's what allegedly the freezing fog that was about. I was out in it last um, I last Monday. Yeah, so people are like, she said, "Don't vape in the house," so he planned the perfect crime. I mean, I doubt that. Because according to Tristan, uh, she's like his ex. At some point in this stream, he apparently says her name. Uh, at some point, and I don't know what the timestamp is for that. If somebody can maybe find that, that'd be great. But he says her name at some point in the stream. Uh, the, the victim. Um, so, you know, again, red flags. Uh, and I mean, you know, you get, like, we're, we're all, like, shitting on this guy and making jokes or whatever, but, like, you get, like, a police fucking forensic criminologist or whatever the hell to come in here and just watch him, like, maniacally, evilly cackle at, like, his own one out of ten non-joke. And, and it's like, all right, we don't even need a trial. We don't even need, it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's one of those situations where it's like, oh, we're gonna really waste everybody's resources to, to go through the whole fucking to-do of proving that this guy did it when, when, I mean, let's just be honest with ourselves, you know, <laughs> like, I mean, but allegedly, you know, allegedly it's, it's all um, around. It was not fun. I took pictures though, and they were pretty, so. Oh, check DMs. Let me see. Okay, we got some. We got some uh, timestamps. Yeah. Okay. I. You told me to peep the timestamps once I got bored. I. Uh, I assumed you meant in the in the like comments of the video. I only saw the one. Uh, but yeah, I'll I'll look at those. Uh, that, thank you. And those those are like. Uh, Though, okay, yeah, three, mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going to jump ahead to, like, uh, so it all kind of starts, like, around three hours in. So I'm going to jump to three hours in. I'm sure there's some other interesting stuff before then, but we're going to jump to around three hours in. I saw some people who didn't know what was happening for anybody who just joined, uh, this guy has been arrested and charged with the murder of his, I guess, ex-girlfriend who was pregnant at the time. Uh, this is a stream that he pre-recorded days before the alleged murder. Well, the actual murder, but the, you know, before he allegedly committed the murder. Uh, and yeah, he pre-recorded this to go live at the time when, co coincidentally at the time when he needed an alibi to, to, you know, but yeah, uh, that's basically what's happening. So we're kind of like watching this guy play GTA and kind of watching his face the whole time. Don't, don't pay attention to this whole part of the screen. Uh, unless something, unless something funny is happening. I mean, I do love Vice City, so, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's nice to also have Vice City gameplay while, while this is happening, but mostly we're watching, for fuck's sakes, mostly we're watching the guy's face and we're watching him fucking psychotically cackle at his, at at his own words and like be weirdly angry at everything. Uh, the first actual timestamp that Tristan sent me was like twelve three three twelve I think three hours twelve minutes. But we're gonna jump to just three hours and we're gonna see if we find anything special uh, before we actually go timestamp hunting. I need to kill this bitch. <laughs> Uh, let's, what was that again? Say that, say that one more time. What, what'd you say? I need to kill this bitch. So, your honor, uh, the, the, the evidence stands, uh, no further, no further questions, your honor. I need to take her down. Cause I won't pass the mission if I don't get this bitch to die. Tra la la. Oh, Did a great job fucking up my own car. Like never mind hers. Come on, Dad. Is this a woman? I wonder if I. I mean, I would assume that whoever his target is is a woman, or you could maybe assume this might be some sort of like Freudian slip, and whoever this is, whoever this character is, he might just be like 
tra- you know, transferring his tar- his real life target. But again, that's just an, uh, that's just a guess. That's just an, an, an uh, I don't know. I don't remember what this mission is or whatever based on context. God, it is such a good idea to live stream yourself playing a fucking video game while you're pissed out at your tits. Yeah, it'd be better if you actually live streamed it. Ah, oh, bastard! Almost had the fucker too. Oh, I tell you, you almost died. I knew you were gonna fucking turn that way, you bastard. I'm trying to avoid making fun of British accents in this stream, but it's a you know the the Western urge to make fun of British accents is just strong. That is a self-report if I've ever seen it. <laughs> Ba bum 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 uh guys I found a body uh it wasn't me though Okay that is a female character then okay so it's not just that he's like every target in oh, the yeah, game Scrotum, come here. you know is like the victim or whatever But yeah he is very like angry throughout the stream Aha Lovely Okay wait what are you doing just, t just do a drive-by. Do you know how to play this game, sir? Just, just do a drive-by. You've got the submachine gun with hundreds and hundreds of ammo. Just do a drive-by. Maybe you can't for this mission. Maybe I'm being an asshole. Ah, uh, so close. This is like suboptimal, dude. I think you just have to kill her, though, which is something uh, you're pretty good at. Oh well, no, you're not good at it, I guess, because you did get caught. I fucked but... myself. I fucked myself. You sure did. I fucked myself. Well, you fucked everything, My apologies. Didn't you? I have fucked myself. And there's not gonna be a single fucking car around, is there? No, nah, there never is. Of course not. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, she got away, chat. If only. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! That's just how it is. That's just how it goes, my guy. That is just how it goes. Give me a fucking car, deck. I see Mr. Fuckface again here. Fuck it, I'll try that mission again. Because <sighs> I almost had the fucker. And then I tried to be clever and I fucked myself. Because uh, I'm not clever. I'm actually just a stupid piece of shit. Yeah. yeah, well, you really thought you were clever when you were live streaming this, when you were faking this live stream, didn't you? You really thought this was a clever uh, idea. And a t shirt. It really needs to be washed. Now this guy doesn't have nothing I could do. Energy. He he's admitting that it's his fault, but he's also like overly. Well, I mean, we're all co we're all cool with making with saying that he's a piece of shit, but he is being like it, overly like I'm a fucking piece of shit. I'm just a stupid it. Like you just you know you just crashed your car, dude. Just just try again. That's fine. Oh my god, the mission is called Waste the Wife. Jesus Christ, chat. Jesus fu Jesus fucking Christ. How could this happen to me? I made my mistake. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Foreshadowing is a powerful surprise tool we could use for later. What? <clears throat> I have the exact same car as hers, so it'll be a little bit better than a taxi. Well, not really. This car's actually, I Here think, we weaker. Go, son. Here we go. Yeah. You must make it look like an. A okay, so you can't use the mini the submachine. Okay. All right. Well, then this mission just kind of sucks a little bit, but. Yeah, you gotta make it look like an accident, bro. I can't believe we jumped to this exact mission of this game. Holy fuck. Take her to look like an accident. Holy well, that's fuck. Right. I've made my entire life look like one. Uh... What? What'd you say there? I've made my entire life look like one. What? What? Oh, can we go now, please? Yeah, the look at the camera. Someone in chat says, I have no doubts anymore. Yeah, I mean, literally, just play this stream for the jury. Just play the stream for the jury, and they, yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's bizarre that he is, I mean, far be it for me to be like, hey, 
you know, hey, bro, you're acting a little weird. You're acting a little sus in this pre-recorded murder stream or whatever. But, like, it's bizarre how murdery he is at times in this stream that was supposed to be an alibi. <laughs> it's kind of like the people who, like, scam people on the blockchain. And it's like, you, you picked... You picked Bitcoin. You picked the one thing where we can easily, like, follow your wallet ID and figure out what you did with the money, you st stupid moron. You had to pick the one thing that would... Oh, God. When the streamer is sus. Oh, Tristan, you really should have put a, ger a sus germa in the thumbnail. That's a, that's a missed opportunity on both of our parts. I think. Not, none of us thought of that. Yeah, it's a little bit worse than blockchain. But not, you know... I mean, blockchain's pretty annoying. You ever heard, You ever have one somebody try to explain what the hell it is? I mean, that's like murder. Anyways. <laughs> All just making jokes. Jokes and satire. Oh, what? Oh, God. For fucking real? Yeah, you drove right, like an idiot. Well, you already Wrong times lost. Of the essence. You already Let's lost. Let's go. I've nearly got the bitch. It's over. No, okay, she's right there. You, your your goal of murder is still in sight. Don't you worry. Oh, I hit that fucking skid. Are you serious? Learn to drive. I hit that fucking skidding sound effect. Eat asphalt, asphalt eaters. Come on to me. Oh, this is chilling. This fucking NPC character in a mission called Waste the Wife. Screaming and running away from this man as he screams back and she's like, Please someone help me. Holy fuck. This is horror gaming. What the fuck? This is a buzz this is this is a feeling that I am going through right now. This is this is fucked up. Allegedly. <laughs> oh! Okay. All right. That's a that's a fifty percent audio now. You fucking cunt. Fucking murder my ears while you're at it. Come on. Uh, we don't know necessarily why he allegedly killed his girlfriend, but uh, I think it's ex-girlfriend. My theory was that the. A uh, baby she was pregnant with at the time was maybe not his, and he wouldn't have in any of that, you know? Uh, he went full what's-his-name at the end of Attack on Titan. Spoilers. Uh, yeah, spoilers, by the way. That whole thing ends with cucking. It's weird. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we don't really know why, but... You know, at the end of the day, does the motive really matter? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it does, but it's like... I don't know. What's done is done. Let's just... Let's just put the guy in jail, allegedly. Smush up her car. Smush it up real good. Well, definitely X now. <laughs> Tristan. Tristan, you can't say that. That's a war crime. Oh, why can't I just fucking shoot her? I don't know, bro. So much more straightforward than this. Ah! I hit... Jesus Christ, dude. Okay. Some people occasionally call me loud equals funny because, you know, sometimes I get animated, uh, and that's just how the, how I am. It's really, it's genuinely not an act. Sometimes when I'm very, what, certain things just make me start screaming at a high-pitched voice, and that just happens. I, I, I do apologize if that's annoying. There were parts in the last video I edited where I had to, like, edit some of that out. Like, oh god, just shut up. <laughs> like, so I understand that I can do that sometimes, but... But man, this isn't even loud equals funny. This is just this is just this man is raging. Uh and he I guess hasn't figured out how to like level his audio at all such that it doesn't blow out all of our fucking eardrums. The fuck that the arse fucking But you know, the guy's had the guy's got bigger fish to fry. Bottom side of these cars. This guy is having a lot fucking of trouble with going? this mission. It's not that hard of a mission. I I remember Ah, come on. on! Come on! Dude. Come on! This is entirely your fault. I mean, the driving sucks a little in Vice City, to be fair, but still. Come on, where are you, fucker? Come here to me. 
No, I said come here. There's nowhere to run! I got your car keys, you fuck! Where the fuck you think you're going? To me. You look like fuck. Oh yeah, that was another thing. I don't know if I brought this up. Well, I did earlier, but uh, to, to reiterate, someone in chat mentions it. Uh, according to the the report on ITV, the, the British news uh, website, they, they mentioned that he, I guess this is from the police or something, he apparently, allegedly, uh, set up, like, his phone in his, uh, in the victim's parents' apartment, or house, or whatever, to record them, to see if they believed that he was responsible. And, and, you know, other sane things to do. Um, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, again, we don't even need the trial, you've... This is, like, pretty clear-cut. I mean, why would it... Like, like, I'm pretty paranoid, bro, but, like, I don't think if if I wasn't involved in a murder that I would be like, oh, I, I have to I have to record people to make sure that they don't think I was. Just in case. Like, <laughs> I don't I don't know, dude. Uh, that's pretty... That's pretty clear-cut, but anyways. You'd have thought she would have fucking crashed her car by this point, too. You're like... Oh, I finally got her. Grit. There's no hope. Grit. There we go. One more head on head, and that was her. Let's get a big F in chat for the, for the, for that lady. Lovely stuff. And certainly no other victims that this guy has allegedly killed, because he certainly didn't kill anybody. That's all. That's all bogus. I do wonder how they'll try to spin this. I mean, he's got to have some kind of a lawyer with some kind of a defense, and I mean. Obviously, he set up the stream as, like, an alibi, but then he very quickly folded and admitted that he pre-recorded it, so it doesn't even fucking function as an alibi. All it does is show us all of this fucking insane, unhinged behavior of his uh, throughout the stream. And, uh, yeah, I mean, again, like, what was the thought process? Oh, I know. Uh, to, to make sure people don't think I murdered my, my ex or whatever, I'm going to do a stream called The Violent Night Christmas Live Gaming Stream where we, where we murder people in Vice City for what? You could have picked, like, like Cyber Tiger for the N64. You couldn't have picked Mickey's Speedway USA. You couldn't have picked uh, Pikmin. I don't know. You had to pick... You had to pick the game that Anarchy Club once made a song for called Murder Simulator. All right. Back to Mr. Diaz. To do this next mission. <clears throat> I love the fact that cars just instantly fuck off whenever you need a car. Like, such shit. But anyway. So, we'll jump ahead a little here to, I think it was 312 or something. Let's see what happens here. Oh, look at that. That was a sexy way maneuver. I say so myself. Which I do. So there. It's my stream. So, up the fuck shot. No maniacal laugh for that one. That funny Let's joke. Arrange those letter those words and you've got yourself a sentence. <coughs> Sentence that says, Shut the fuck up. Maniacal laughter? No. Do, 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 do. I never know when one of his funny jokes is going to be so funny that he s decides to laugh his head off again. Uh huh. Yeah, that's that's physics. That's that's what would happen. I've never seen somebody be this bad at driving. No, actually, I was going to say this bad at driving in a game. I do remember watching, uh, I think it was the. It was like this stream Medicare did about DSP, where he was like talking about DSP. I think he was talking about DSP at the time, and then someone in his chat was like, "Bro, Jim, he's live now." And he went over to his stream, and it was it was DSP playing uh, Liberty City Stories, and he was he was the worst uh, GTA like PS2 era GTA driver that I've ever seen. Uh, he just kept fucking, he was in a taxi, and he kept fucking destroying his taxis, and of course that meant, uh, come on, you know, every, every three seconds, uh, in the real world, so this guy's, this guy's a, a close runner up, but I mean, you know, this makes us critically re-examine re people like DSP a little bit, absolutely fucking notly. 
absolute fucking nothing. I checked the DMs. I saw there's someone in chat who's saying that they they've interacted with this dude many times. Uh, oh, that's that's pretty interesting. Uh, you know, I'm. Uh, what's probably going to happen is I'll probably want to make like edit a video about this. You know, cr trim down some of the stream and like add in some some new stuff. And so maybe I'll. Uh, Get in touch with you for that. I've also got Tristan who's watched him for a while too. So some testimony from fans or whatever uh, might be might be interesting. Uh, if you're on the server, you know you can give me a, a shout out there. Uh, yeah, I will uh, I will be interested to to look into that. But uh, you know for now we're 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 just here on the on the the murder stream, and that's probably gonna be that's probably gonna be enough for now. <laughs> In a world of cockroaches, be a spider. I, I, I love it keeps taking the health out of me just for jumping. That's fucking great. Wait, he Fuck. he already said the name. Uh huh. Yeah, that's that's physics. That's that's what would happen in the real world. Absolutely fucking notly. Oh, that's not the name Natalie. He just said Absa fucking Notley. That's I, that's I didn't. Yeah, that's not it. <laughs> Absa fucking Notley. Oh, never mind. Huh? Why would you say that, sir? Okay, I didn't. I didn't hear that the first time actually. So so he he says like he hits his car. Yeah, that's that's physics. That's physics. That's that's what would happen in the real world. Sure, but he's but he's being sarcastic. Absa fucking notly. So he says absa fucking notly. Hmm. But then he then he has a funny joke, you see, and he goes, hmm. Absa fucking notly. Ah, absa fucking notly. You know, that woman you now stand accused of murdering. Hmm. Absa fucking. Yeah. Notly. Yeah, that's. Hmm. Well, I didn't hear it because th the first time it was just like, "Oh, absolutely," but he put the word "not" in it. Like that's fine. But then he did absolutely correct that into "absolutely." Uh, I, I. That was very strange. Oh, that was very strange. So. Fuck you. I just like, man. This was supposed to be your fucking. This was supposed to be your alibi, wasn't it? Like, no worry, cops, I didn't kill anybody. Look, I was streaming. And then they see this stream, and like, I mean, I guess, I guess like we are three hours and 12 minutes into it, and they might not get that far. But, I don't know, man. Uh, hopefully they will now that I'm... <laughs> Now, now that maybe I'm doing this stream and, you know, I don't know, people might see this and, like, make some kind of a supercut of this guy's uh, moments on this, this stream. Don't you know? This is my room. I doubt that would be, like, admissible as evidence or whatever, but I doubt they want to comb through the whole fucking stream. I don't know. It belongs to me. The Steven. So he's doing a whole, like, my routine wild. now. You are just living in it. Uh huh. Salivating. Well, not for long. Of a majestic erection. <laughs> what? By which I, of course, mean building. What? Not to be naughty, naughty. What are you talking naughty. about, sir? Wow, he's so bad. I'm on you, fucker. Oh, is this the fucking chainsaw murder mission? I think it is. Oh, let's have a look through this window, shall we? Chat, we keep finding, like, the best missions. I think that's this oh, one. Oh, look, he's not there. What a surprise. Okay, no, that's not. That's it's, like at a, it's like at a motel Over or something. The fucking rooftops. Oh, look. There's a, there's a mission in this game where you go... Or maybe it's not a mission. I think it might just be, like, an Easter egg. There's, like, a murder bathroom with, where you pick up a chainsaw. I think it's a reference to Scarface. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I wonder if that shows up in this stream. He shot at me. No, oh, no. Anyway... Diddly dee. 
You might want to run. All right. Pay attention, 007. Where the flying fuck? You know, this game has running. You can, you can like, sprint. All right. So you go Why are you here. slow? Why are you being slow? Oh, you twat. What the fuck? How could this happen to me? I think you could just jump back up or something, can't you? He's like flabbergasted by this. The guy's not even running away. The guy's the guy was like so incredibly shocked. He's now stun locked into silence for like 2 minutes because he fell off a thing. He's like he is like gape mouth agape soy murder face because he fell off a thing. He can't comprehend that. Break time. Break time. Oh, he's breaking shit now. Okay. Uh, well, let me see here. Let's jump ahead to another timestamp. Uh, we got 326, so about 10 minutes later. We'll go to... Oh, okay. Yeah, this is around where the thing happens. Well, why is there James Bond? What is happening here? So this, this timestamp is listed as a mistake, I think it says. Yeah, a quote-unquote mistake, 326-24. And I guess this is while he's doing his uh, break, where he, you know, is pretending to be live. I mean, again, live stream back soon. We have a chat here, too. I'm still waiting for the Vote Saxon 07 only fans. Well, keep fucking waiting, Speedsters United. You're a monster. You're, you're a terrible person. Uh, I mean, that was posted before... Before that, you know, before the news broke, but damn. Um, okay, so this is this is called a mistake. I would assume this has to do with his uh, pre-recording of this thing. Maybe he lets his hand slip. What? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? I don't know what that's hinting at if anything did he like switch to a different I don't... I'm confused I'll tell you something I made a real pig's ear of that <laughs> I just sat down and I pulled the controller and the headphones off the table which hit the keypad which um, it's apparently hotkeys are still connected, so it um, it went on to something else for a little second. Yeah. Anyway. Uh okay. Here's the thing. I don't know what that was even like. Did he accident? Because I would as I would assume maybe he like was playing the video file of this recorded fake stream, and then he accidentally played a different video file or something, and now he's trying to explain it. But, like, I wouldn't have necessarily known. I would have just thought maybe he clicked onto a weird scene transition on uh, OBS or something. But now that he's drawn so much attention with this little... Oh, yeah, I, uh, um, the, um... But, Mom, there was a pop-up! And then I went to click it, and my pants fell down! Mom! You know, like, he, he goes into this whole fucking explanation, and it, uh... It kind of just makes it seem a little more questionable, a little more sus. Uh, Sussy wussy. Sussy bullbunky. I'll something else as well. That's how you know you're getting older because- Fake bloopers. In a dark room there for about five or ten minutes. He's trying to pretend that he's got issues in his stream and bring in like fake live bloopers. That's what you're saying? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, mm, I guess. And, um, a little bit of a confusing thing just, to do. I felt like black and white. <laughs> So anyway, I'm back, and I brought cell tape. Oh, good. Oh, good. You got some good tape to make sure that uh, <clears throat> that there's no struggling. Right. So let's get uh, this that's fucking good. fixed once and for all. So it stops. <coughs> okay, so Stop. he's taping up his fucking camera. 
Alright. I, I don't know where the fuck I am. Where the fuck am I? How do I get out of this place? This zoo. This place. Well, you don't run into the wall. I'm in the fucking corner. The back and play one of the older games, and you're like, oh, fuck me, all these features aren't in it. Like, shit's been removed. The crappy little. Automobile. Yeah, Tristan points out the fact that that uh, quote unquote mistake was. Uh... Where, where is it? Three twenty-six, twenty. That's all. Yeah. Uh Hang on. No time to die. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Actually, what is this that we're looking at? Why is this on screen? Is this like a little hint at what he did? No time to die. What is the f what is the context of whatever this is that we're looking at? MI6, the home of James Bond, it says down there. What, is, what the fuck does that mean? Is he on, like, a James Bond website? What is this? Very, very strange. Uh, his wife, there is time to die. Oh. Uh, he's absolutely gloating. I mean, I maybe, yeah. This is very strange. I mean, because, like, what's with this weird Scott the Waz background, and it has, like, military intelligence, like, MI6 logo? This looks like it's, like, from a video essay about James Bond or something. Like, maybe he was watching a video about James Bond, and he, like, clicked over to it? But, yeah, the fact that it says no time to die is, you know, I mean, uh, shit. Live and let die could have also, you know, I don't know. Sat down. Um, All right, so he's, you know, doing his thing. Uh, I'm told that around 356, there's another notable thing, and then shortly thereafter, there's something else. He's been playing the game for six hours. Oh Jesus. my god, dude! Still on the Get out of my way! Settle down, bro. Oh, this is the mission, I think, that takes you to the second island, actually. I remember this. Yeah, you gotta stay, like, a little bit of a distance. This mission sucks. I think you're just supposed to follow him at this point, aren't you? It's so clear how much this guy's, like, not enjoying himself or anything. This has this. People compare this to DSP or whatever, but I haven't seen anybody compare it to Wings. Wings and DSP are very similar, but uh, DSP, I think, to some extent, at least, actually enjoys video games. Uh, to some extent, uh, Wings has said in the past that he doesn't play games because he has because he likes them. He does it because he has to or whatever. Uh, and this feels more like that, where it's like. I don't think he really necessarily wants to be playing this mission right now. I don't think he wants to be streaming this game right now or faking the stream or whatever. I mean, he clearly has other things, uh, other plans on his mind at this moment in time. And you can really tell the way he's just like, there is no fun. He is pure frustration and no positivity at all from playing this game right now. Which is like, I don't know, why even stream it? Oh, because you still need the alibi, I guess? All right. Your car's going to be fine, dude. Oh, what a fun My car's mission. Working. Wait, when is the scream thing? Hang on. Brace your ears in about 10 seconds, Oh, great. Chat. My car's about to fucking explode. It is. That's fucking class, man. That's just what I wanted. Oh, he's about to Thank lose you so the mission. Much. I swear to God, see if, see if it fucking takes too long and this fucker gets away. I will kill you all with fire! Fucking hell! What does it take? What does it take? What the fuck does it fucking take? So 
so he'll kill who all like everybody the developers all of the people that have wronged him i get the feeling that he's not shouting about losing the mission there i get the feeling that he's shouting about what does it take to whatever like this is this is most likely uh just channeling some real frustration uh that he had that potentially led him to do what he allegedly did. Fuck all of you, you bastards! Fuck them! Fuck them. <clears throat> Thought I was making a smart decision. Thought I was making a smart fucking decision. I was backing away. Thought I had it all planned out. I was I set up my alibi live stream where I shout about murdering people and that was gonna prove my innocence, and then I set up a camera to record the victim's family and you know that was gonna prove that I was innocent too, but I just fucked it all up, man. God, God, oh this is a real boner. Allegedly, allegedly. Oh, talking about life was good, man. Life was good. You know what? I think it's it's, it's fucking two o'clock. I think that's what time it is. It's time to fucking shake, because fuck this fucking level. Bro, okay, look. Vice City can be a little annoying. There's parts later where, you know, you kind of have to, like, put up with the fucking game's terrible shooting. And, and you'll die a lot because, like, you have to learn how to get around the game's mechanics. So that's the thing. I remember there's this one where you have, there's this mission where you have to save a character from the junkyard... And that mission is ab an absolute nightmare because you can't fucking aim your gun like a civilized video game. So there are moments in this game that are kind of tough, but this is not really one of them. This is the mission, if I remember correctly, you follow that jeep that he was following that was shooting at him, and it takes you to the second island, basically. Uh, and it's like, this is kind of like the halfway point of the game, I guess. It's really not that hard yet. And he's like, oh, we need to cheat, you know. Which, uh, I don't know, there's probably some kind of, again, probably some kind of psychologist thing where you can go like, oh, things weren't going your way, so you had to resort to drastic measures or something. Fuck them. Backwards, sideways, forwards, and up the ass. Fuck this. I cannot get over that. I can't get over that. I mean, I th would think that you would be able to get over it at this point, dude, because you... Because, like, everything you've done wrong in this stream has been, I mean, outside of, you know, the meta elements of it. But everything gameplay-wise that you've done wrong, we keep seeing him crash his car and people get away. He's he's on these missions where he's, like, tailing someone and then they get away and he's like, Fuck, man, that's so stupid! And it's like, you are a very bad driver. I'm sorry to inform you, but you are not good at driving in this game and that's why this is happening. It's... It keeps being this exact same situation. I'll, I'll fucking chase the bastard down with a tank. Swear to God, man, I will fucking ruin this bastard's life. I believe you. Fuck off! I think it's worth pointing out, too, that this guy... I mean, not to downplay it, but, you know, people kill their significant others or whatever all the time and it sucks and it's a horrible thing and the guy would still be an awful piece of shit but it's the fact that she was 15 weeks pregnant at the time uh i mean allegedly he did it you know it might have totally just been the the same burglar that killed john benet ramsey you know you, you never know but uh yeah i mean again not to doubt he still would be a monster if she wasn't pregnant but like yeah, that just adds, like, a whole element of sour grapes, uh, to this, where it's, like, it's not enough that he's just mad at, like, you know, this woman and wants to get revenge on her. It's, like, he also allegedly killed a fucking unborn child, so, I mean, I don't know. Very grim stuff. Ah! How the fuck do you look behind you? There is a way. This guy claims that he knows how to, like, he's, you know, played this game and he loves this game and he doesn't know how to, like, look behind him with the... Really?
Physics. Physics 101. 101 physics. Alright, get the fuck out. Go see this fucker. What what an oh, optimistic God. gentleman. Just a very friendly, nice this man. This fun. Ah, oh, shut up with your... Come on, baby, come on. Come off. Fuck off. Jesus Christ, dude. Merry Christmas. Oh, I need a drink. I could see it happening, man. I could see it from, like, a fucking mic. This reminds me of, like, Spoonie streams, too. Where he's, like... He's, like, this super mis... I mean, look, we all have depression or whatever. I think everybody is probably depressed at this point in, in, in our world. But, you know, I don't know. There's just this serious, like, Rich Evans looking depressed in the couch energy. You know what I mean? Just this, like, ugh... Oh god, why are you the fucking bother? Oh god. And uh I mean that would be sad enough, but I guess I would almost feel sorry for what a train wreck this guy looks like he is if it wasn't for what he did. I allegedly. Like Plus he's playing the Xbox version of Vice City, which is like it's like banned in some countries. I was that's, that's pretty haram. I fucking knew that if I had to stop Wait what? I was looking at it going I fucking. I said I was looking at a gun. Me, that if I had to stop to jack the car, that that would just be enough time for that fucker to get away. And lo and behold. I love the fact that this guy's fucking getting away with murder plot was as incompetent as he is at video games. Like, I can just imagine. Like, everybody made jokes for so long about, like, DSP having sex. Oh god, where do I put it? Ah, what do I do? But. But I can just imagine him having his breakdown as he realizes, like, oh, fuck, oh, I screwed up again! God damn it! Like, yeah, I don't know. There's there's an element of that. I was correct. How was I correct? Because I am the Stephen. That the Stephen is always correct. You are here. Oh, my God. Is it is it break time yet? Can I have another break? Why does it have a UR here? Uh, because it's, I think it's based on like a mall map kind of thing. Like, like you are here on the mall map, that kind of, that kind of deal. Something like this, what, 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock? See, like, that's, that's the thing. I don't want to stress myself out. I feel like I'm just losing my shit here. What if I was yeah, you might have. I'm near four hours. Fuck me. And he's sitting here like, how long, you know, allegedly, he's like, how long do I think it'll take, you know, how long am I going to need this stream to be up to explain th that I wasn't busy doing something else? Like, is this going to be a quick job? Can I say four hours is good? I mean, you know, I don't know how far away she lived, you know, from him. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's over, he's, that legitimately is probably what he's like, oh, geez, do I have to go longer? It might take a while to get back home. After I do it, and I'm gonna want to have the stream still going once I'm back home, so that you know. But what's amazing is that this whole stream, the point of it was to pretend he was live during the time when the woman was murdered. So, and then the moment he got like arrested, he immediately fucking folded, and he was just like, "Oh yeah, yeah, no, I, I, uh, I recorded it a couple days ago." Which I mean, the like the forensic fucking data guys at the police or whatever, I guess they already knew that. Uh, so he just admitted it, but it's just funny how quickly this whole facade, this, this stupid stream just fell apart. Uh... Well, the time has just flown in, hasn't it? <sighs> I'll do it to midnight, I think, or thereabouts, and I think I'll call it a night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tomorrow as well. What's that? That'll do me. I've got work tomorrow as well. Oh, uh, work. Right. And again, that's my final week. So, work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, off Thursday, off Friday. So, he recorded this four or five days before he pretended it was live. I think he said earlier that it was... Hang on. 
let me take a look here the calendar I think he said earlier that it was uh come on now it was Sunday so yeah it was Christmas the day he went live was Christmas yeah and so four or five days I think it said it was like the 19th when he recorded this so that's like a full week in advance almost so the day that this woman was murdered was Christmas. That's very unfortunate for her, but um, yeah, uh, there's something coming up here. Off Christmas. Keep in mind that this woman was killed on Christmas Day, and this stream was supposed to have happened on Christmas Day, off Boxing Day, off a couple of days after that, back into work on Wednesday, then. He's trying to figure out his own timeline relative to what day he's saying it is currently on this, this recording of the stream. Until New Year's. So it'll be enough time to rest, relax, spend time with my loved ones. I actually think it'll, it'll be a really fucking good Christmas this year. Hmm. You know, time to spend with his loved ones and everything. It's funny how this streamed on Christmas, and yet he says, I think it will be a good Christmas this year. It's funny how this woman uh, was murdered on Christmas, and he's over here talking specifically about what a really fucking good Christmas it's going to be. Isn't that just super funny? He's over here considering it. He's got a little smile creeping across his face, thinking about it. Hmm. hmm. But yes, sorry. I... Oh my god. Yeah, no doubts. Zero doubts in my mind. Literally over here, just like daydreaming about what he's gonna do. I actually think it'll, it'll be a really fucking good Christmas this year. Hmm. Mr. Anime is planning something. But yes, sorry, I'm, I'm getting... Horribly distracted. Horribly distracted thinking about how good Christmas will be in a few days when it's no longer Christmas the day that you claim that you went live. Which already doesn't make sense. People in chat should already be questioning that, but they aren't. Uh... Yeah, that was fucking weird. That was very weird. Um, yeah, so... I think um, Christmas was in seven days when he did this. I know, but he's claiming that he went live on Christmas. This stream, he he pre-recorded this and he put it live on Christmas. So the fact that he's saying in the like future tense or whatever, like Christmas will be good this year, should already be making people go, well, wait, it's Christmas night. What are you talking about? Um, but I mean, it's more just the way he's like sitting there fucking daydreaming about it. Damn. I think break. I think a little, little break. Just try and collect myself again and stop the ice from stinging right the fuck out of my head. Also, it'll give time for my Guinness to sort of chill out because it's doing this big head thing. I don't really like He claimed it was the Sunday before Christmas. Yeah, so that would have been... Um, that would have been... The 18th then so it was like a full week beforehand i guess um that was the last timestamp that i have i don't know if it gets any more murdery later on he had like a different game here he started playing a tank game oh yeah my own petard bastard oh it's this thing i should play this game i remember this show Ah, uh, damn it. Alright, so he plays some of this. So that's this stream. I mean, that was interesting. I would like to look at some of his, like, regular content. Namely, this video, which came out nine days ago. So, uh, well after the murder, uh, happened. Um, and I mean, one thing... So... Did he have any comment? This is what I'm wondering. Did he have any kind of comment? Like, this was his ex-girlfriend or something. So when... When she was murdered, surely he must have, like, oh, something horrible happened, everybody. I'm sorry, I won't be around, or something. He had to have tried to, like, put up some kind of front, don't you think? And been like, oh, my, you know, some t terrible tragedy, and pretend to be affected by it. Or maybe he just said nothing, I don't know. But this is after the, after he allegedly committed murder. 
uh, he posted some some more videos here. I don't. I think it might go. Oh, hello, YouTube viewers. This must be the fucking James Bond thing that he was showing off. Maybe, maybe not. I don't see any blue background or whatever like in that video. Hello. Maybe not. Uh, he probably has other other stuff. But yeah, he basically uh, he's like a toy reviewer, a uh, uh, Doctor Who channel. And let's take a look at this. Hello, YouTube viewers on random. Uh, obligatory dislike. There you go. Doctor um, Who fans, yes, the time is finally upon us. After years of B&M Frankensteinian mashup figure sets, character options have at long last released something new, the regeneration set from the power of the Doctor. It brings us an updated 13th Doctor figure. Wearing an outfit she technically wore for all of two minutes of screen time, but hey, new is new. Plus, we get our brand new next incarnation of the Time Lord in the 14th Doctor. Kind of just looks like Elon Musk a little bit, but all right. And, oh boy, do we have a lot to talk about there. So without further ado, let's see if all those years away from actually making figures and toys from the current era of the show has given our dear old friends at character a chance at redemption. Now, I'm curious about something. This is going to be a real, like, side tangent here. Uh, but let me just... There's, there's no way, right? Okay, no. All right. See, I found a very uh, weird game uh, on the Dreamcast, which is technically uh, technically adjacent to the SMT series. It's called Machin X. And uh, I, I really thought that... Uh, I really thought this was the same X, and he stole it from the Machin X cover art, but it's, it's, it's very different, as a matter of fact. That would have been the one redeeming element about this guy. Outside of, I guess, he likes uh, Vice City. But he's also really shit at Vice City, so that kind of invalidates that. Anyway. Starting off with the packaging, I really dig this. It looks and feels like a proper collector set box. It's classy with a white cover containing an... So, the guy is, you know, super upbeat and chipper. Totally doesn't feel like somebody in his life just was murdered and he's sad about it because he didn't do it. He certainly feels like nothing at all happened or, if anything, life's going real good for him now. So that's interesting. Embossed version of the all-new RTD2 era diamond logo, as well as other diamond-shaped embossed bits around it. A small cutout section at the bottom reads the regeneration set. Man, this guy is not going to ruin Russell T. Davies coming back to Doctor Who for me. <sighs> I'm not, I'm not going to let this guy ruin that for me. A definite article, you might say. And it is the two-figure collector set. The sides, back and top, offered little else. Just another logo on the back and the horizontal version on the sides and top. While the base gives us a load of good old-fashioned legal guff. Opening the hinge cover reveals both figures and a lot of colour along with it. The figures are displayed clearly behind a protective plastic window and have a glowing regeneration effect backdrop behind them. So why does the Jodie Whittaker figure look like exactly like Jodie Whittaker, the actress but the the david tennant figure looks like just some guy with a really big forehead what the fuck is that they are from the part of the doctor they're an online exclusive how fancy and are for ages five and up and thankfully they are so i mean yeah this is just what he does he just is a like a toy reviewer hell. well the seventh doctor's best uh, people people uh you know in chat um multiple people here tristan and some other people have said that they've known this guy for years one guy said that he's met him in real life Another person was like, hey, I've talked to him several times. Um, so, uh, you know, I I would assume that this is, uh, you know, I mean, I'm not necessarily watching stuff like this. But the guy doesn't sound super like, you know, he's not all like, what's up, everybody? He's not one of those. And he's also not, you know, why am I trying to be like nice to this guy? Why am I doing that? I'm like, oh yeah, his content's not that bad. In terms of toy reviewers, I have seen worse, but you know, most of them don't fucking kill people. So, I mean, nice this guy is still pretty low on the totem pole, if I had to say so. Uh, but this is how I feel during this whole stream right now. Honestly, this is <laughs> this is my feeling. Hey, this is bad. Even the hair sculpt looks kind of awful with that dangly bit sticking out, the hairline's too recessed, giving him a five head, and the paint apps don't reach the end. Look at the fucking, look at the fucking sideburns. Wow, this is terrible. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is, uh, you know, he's a toy reviewer guy, and, uh... 
you know, I guess his dog died. Apparently, like I said earlier, a lot of stuff has been, you know, a lot of bad stuff has been happening in this guy's life. He, uh, I guess his parents died over the course of the last couple of years and his, like, dog died and all of this stuff. And now I guess I'm wondering, like, I guess I'm left to wonder how much, you know, all of this death that surrounds him is just an accident. Is just horrible, tragic accidents. I don't know. You know, I, I mean, I'm sure... I don't know, I'm sure he, as incompetent as he seems to be at video games and getting away with murder, I'm sure if over the course of the last few years he has, he, he has been killing his parents and his dog, we probably would know that by now. So maybe that, maybe it is just a case of like a sweep of bad luck and unfortunate tragedies. Charitably, you might be able to say this guy had some kind of a mental break and like snapped and... That sort of thing, but I don't think it's a snap when you premeditate the murder at least a week and a half, allegedly. Uh, or at least a, a week in advance, rather. Uh, but here he is. Uh, he's showing off his collectibles that he's selling. You know, he, he posted this on November 5th. I wonder why he felt like everything must go all of a sudden. I, I wonder about that. Hello, YouTube viewers and random subscribers. Yes, it's true. I'm selling it all. Well, not all of it. Some of it. Most. A lot. Uh, yes. So, uh, if you check the link in the description or even in the comment section, because why not? Pop it in the comment section. Uh, there will be a link to my official eBay channel where you can bid and buy some of the stuff that I have in this collection room. Uh, I'm doing this for two reasons. First of all, I think that with Russell T. Davies, David Tennant, Shirigatwa coming back into Doctor Who again, uh, I think there's going to be a lot more merchandise this time around, and I'm going to need somewhere to put it because I'm going to buy it. Cause I okay, because you're a super consumer, right? So this isn't like, hey, I have to get rid of all my shit because, you know, I have, like, debt I need to pay off. It's not like, hey, I need to get rid of all my shit because I f no longer feel the need to surround myself with plastic uh, to, to, you know, inf inform me of what my interests are, I say, as I have a bunch of figures myself. Uh... <laughs> I don't know, but no, I guess it's just, no, I need to consume more. I am sick of not being able to review new Doctor Who stuff, character. So, uh, yeah, I really think that there's going to be a lot more merchandise this time around. So I'd like to buy it. I'd like to have somewhere to put it. And as you can see, I'm sort of kind of... Wait, so somebody in chat, Chrissy S, is like, there's an article that shows he's guilty. I can't imagine... I can't imagine he's already been tried. Don't, don't, that must be a mistake, because I'm, like, court shit takes a long time. I mean, I guess it's, like we've been saying, it's pretty clear cut, but there have been cases where it's been even clearer cut than this, and, uh, you know, he, people have been in fucking court for, like, five years or whatever. I can't imagine he's already been found guilty. Um... But, I mean, I'm all f for that if you have the article. Some laser pig uh, says, For fuck's sake, he has all the personality of a cheese sandwich. Is the bread... If the bread was a brick and the cheese also a brick. <laughs> yeah, um, people say that they liked him. And, I mean, again, maybe he used to be better, but he seems like... I mean, you know, obviously, if he killed somebody, we have to assume that he's dealing with a lot of, like, inner demons and weird thoughts and things like that and he's probably having to hide a lot of that as he does these youtube videos so he seems very like empty and kind of going through the motions of what somebody like him might sound like in a video like this i guess if that makes sense um it just doesn't seem like there's a light on in him you know what i mean uh and yeah that i mean again i'm assuming back before he became murdery he might have, uh, allegedly, he might have, you know, had some, some more personality. I'm out of room here in the collection room. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, so there'll be Doctor Who stuff. There'll also be Marvel the stuff. The article was from a day ago. He's guilty? Well, what's the name of the article? I, yeah, you can't... You can't, uh... You can't link in chat, I guess. Charged isn't a verdict. That's true. Um, the the article I saw on ITV said he was just charged. He was arrested and charged with the murder. It didn't say that he was uh, guilty. 
They just set his bail thing a day ago, though. Hmm. I, mm, I don't know. Conflicting info, but like I say, I'm probably going to want to do some kind of an edit of this uh, to sort of make it a little, consolidate it a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll look for I'll look for updates if I do that. There'll be a lot of Transformers, so I'll put, I think all the Transformers stuff is going to go. Uh, just really to make room. God, this is such a fucking, I mean, look, I have a silver samurai figure sa standing on my windowsill right now. I've got a little Samus uh, on my desk. I've got a whole bunch of, like, 90s action figures that I got in a big, like, bulk box in, uh, on eBay sitting over on my former bookshelf. And most of my figures are in Toronto currently. Uh, but, you know, I don't know, man. There's just something about this room. Like, I don't know. I like having some figures on shelves or whatever, you know? I think it's nice, but... Like, alongside other things, you know what I mean? Like, you have a bookshelf, and you have a little, like, Samus figure there, or whatever, you know? Uh, this, this, this kind of thing where they do the fucking consume cave, and they need to have, like, 15 shelves for all of the fucking $400, like, 12-inch action figures of, like, the Terminator that they have over there, and, like, Iron Man arm, and all of this stupid fucking... Ready Player One Comic-Con ass bullshit. Oh, God. I, I think I hate this man. Uh, I think I hate him for reasons other than the alleged murder. Second of all, I'd like it to go to people that I know are going to look after it. And I know, like, if you've been watching my videos for a long time... <laughs> hang on, hang on. I just need to, uh... Totally unrelated to this stream, I just need to, uh... Let me, uh... Let's do this real quick here. Uh... Let's just, uh... This is a joke that like one that like one or two people in chat will even get. But it's fine. It's fine. That's what we do here. You know, this is a This is a great back this is a great background, bro. It's a really nice background. Hello and welcome to the Murder Crew Podcast. I'm your host, Mike Stoklasa, and I'm Rich Evans, and I've been banned from uh, my ex-girlfriend's apartment after I murdered her. Um, yeah, I don't know. There is just something about this. This, this background feels like a parody. You're of the same mindset as me, which are, these are collectibles. They must be preserved, you know? Guys, wait! I just got info from the Hollywood Videotron! It says that- it says that popular Doctor Who YouTuber Vote Saxon 07 has been charged with murder! Very cool! Very cool! Give it up for murder, everybody! Give it up for murder! You just keep hitting those home runs, Britain! I'm sorry, I'll stop now. I'll stop. A lot of time, a lot of work in, uh preserving uh do not give it up for murder do do that's not we don't support that here <laughs> so yeah it's gonna go on for the like mostly cheap it stuff, broke you know, new ground like, you know, putting up the, the wind up dolly for example that's already online for 99 gotta clap for that gotta clap for the boba fan um and there's gonna be other stuff too all right well that's enough of the consume cave let's like i kind of want to keep watching stuff from this guy but he's like he's like really uninteresting I wonder what, like, some of his earlier videos might have been like. Oh, but we can't sort by earlier. Like, y old videos. Mm. Uh, Woody and Buzz, a nostalgic toy story. Okay. No, wait, we gotta see him review the, um, the Spider-Man electronic glove and rapid fire web shooter toy. That's, uh, that's one that I pretty much always wanted as a kid. Well, no, that's Amazing Spider. They had one like that for the Raimi Spider-Mans, too. They had they had the one where you could climb the wall. It literally just was a lie. They just lied to the kids that it was a, like, wall-climbing suction cup, cup glove, and you could climb walls like Spider-Man. It was literally just a lie. Uh, I can't believe that that product was sold. But, yeah, let's watch him. This is from six years ago. This is hypothetically back when people liked him. By the way, I just have to subscribe to him real quick so that I can unsubscribe from him real quick. Um, yeah. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that guy. Um... Yeah. 
two of the new toys from... The so this is back when, you know, uh, Tristan and other people said that they've been following him for like 10 years. This was six years ago. So I would assume this is back when he was still somebody that people would want to follow on YouTube. Uh, and not a weird murder man. Um, the Amazing Spider-Man movie toy line, the electronic glove, and the rapid fire web shooter. So first of all, let's take a closer look at the glove. Okay, so here we go, and I'll start off as I always do by taking a look at the packaging, which as you can see is fairly basic. It's got a nice big picture of Spider-Man up at the uh, top corner here. Uh, nice big amazing Spider-Man logo there. Uh, the product does take two... He definitely does seem like he has more energy here, but I mean, I still... Like, I'll watch Ashens make fun of a toy, but it's because it's, cause it's like a shitty Poundland toy, for one, and because Ashens is funny, for two... And also because I've been watching Ashen since 2007 or something, so that's, you know, another part of it. But this is just, like, such a dry, like, toy review. I, I mean, again, I as much as, you know, fuck this guy, but it's like, there's a lot of people in chat who I guess did watch this guy, so I don't want to just be a total dick and be like, Yeah, this guy that you used to like for ten years fucking sucks. I mean, he does fucking suck, but, like, I don't know, I want to give his content some kind of benefit of the doubt, but it is very milk toast. I don't know, not very interesting. This is back in what I would assume is more like the glory era, back when he was, like, better. Um, and wasn't on his downward spiral into tragedy. Uh, it, it, but... Mm. Only enough are included. Not that interesting. Uh, motion activate. Jump ahead a lot uh, for the purposes of this review. But uh, you know, as an adult with quite large hands, it does fit on quite well, as you can see. Uh, the only place where it really doesn't is this uh, little red Velcro strap here, which is supposed to go all the way around the wrist, but it doesn't go the full way around mine. So if I had to attach it in place here with a little bit of duct tape, just for the sake of doing this review. Um, the detail on the actual glove is quite nice. You know, it's not actually sewn in or anything like that. It's literally just a piece of fabric with all this detail printed on it. But as you can see... See, the thing is, is like... I don't know, why is he doing reviews of Spider-Man toys? You know, because he's not a parent. It certainly isn't anymore, if he was ever going to be one. Uh, he's not a parent. So, why is he... Like, it's not like, oh, I, you know... Hey, parents, check out this review before you buy the toy for your kid, or whatever. Um, it, He just feels like somebody who collects a bunch of shit. And, you know, there's some, there's some element to that that's like, okay, well, you can collect, like, you know some high quality figures or whatever, but this is just like a fucking cheap kid's toy. Why is he, why is he reviewing this and having to tape the fucking thing up so that he can fit his giant grown up ass hand into it? Like maybe that's a sign that you, you should just leave kids toy reviewing to like Ryan or the, whatever. It does look quite cool. And it does look like the actual material that the costumes made from in the film with the uh, red and blue sections to it there. Even on the palm there, you've got that little kind of black section. Looks really, really great. Well, um, somebody says maybe as a part-time groomer, there was some uh, mention of that in that first video I showed, the one that was showing the um, the ITV article that uh, was talking about the, the sentencing or whatever, the, the arrest. Not sentencing. Uh, so I think his video said something like, I don't have any, I don't know anything about the CP allegations or something. So it could be that this is a uh, continuing story, to say the fucking least. Uh, we could be finding out quite a lot more about this man. We can go in here to the actual web shooter. As you can see, it's massive and it doesn't really look <coughs> like the web massive. shooter movie at all. But, you know, they have kind of tried with the detail with those kind of little green sections there. Uh, the red kind of section. actually does look very much like the web shooter from the movie, just like a, you know, cheap toy plastic version. Middle, even the little uh, silver cogs are on the edges there. I'm um, the only one who likes the idea that Spider-Man shoots webs from his body. Everybody always says that that's gross, and I'm like, well, yeah, but he's a fucking Spider-Man. Why does he need to build a web shooter? What the fuck is that? It's like if... I was going to say it's like if Batman had to build bat wings, but... You know, Spider-Man's a Spider-Man. It's so bizarre that he's like, Oh, I am I have the powers of a spider, but that's, like, not enough. So I need to build fucking a web shooter? Like, just have it be part of his powers. I don't know. Uh, but everybody hates that. They say it's cro it's creepy or whatever. They're like, where does he store the web? And I'm like, I don't know. How do I shot web? There's a lot of questions. Little nozzle at the top. 
So, uh, you know, overall, the detail is quite nice. When it comes to special features, it does have motion activation. That's true. It does highlight that he's also a smart guy. I'll give you that. It it shows off as an ingenuity. But I think that's enough for this guy. I mean, that one stream was pretty interesting, but all of this uh, is not, really. Um, he's he's playing, playing the battle bots thing here. Oh, he's, like, reviewing the episodes of it. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. It's, like... It's... You know, there have been, there have been like, YouTube criminals in the past, obviously. There was Mr. Anime. Uh, there's obviously the ever-increasing cavalcade of, like, weirdo, uh, sex weirdos. But, I don't know. I, you know, I've never, I don't know this guy. I know Tristan uh, watched him for a long time, so I've kind of got, like, a weird, like, level of separation where I'm, like, I kind of know him, a little, almost. It's, like, it's weirdly... And I'm like, a, I'm a Doctor Who fan, so it's like, I don't know, there's a weird vibe here where, you know, on the one hand, fuck this guy he, for whatever he, you know, prob most likely, but still technically, allegedly, I think, did. Um, fuck this guy, but, I don't know, it's also just kind of a shame, you know, you see this YouTube guy and he's been going for like a decade, and he just, I don't know, he just did some horrible, horrible, stupid shit, and he you know, it's not like he had a big channel that was, like, super, super poppin' or whatever, but, like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's just weird. You see, this guy's been posting for, like, a decade, and now it's like, no, nope, he fucking decided to murder someone, hypothetically, <laughs> allegedly, and now this whole channel just comes to an end, and, like, this will probably be the last video he ever posts. I mean, maybe. I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure, but it's just weirdly, like, it's surreal. Uh, it's just surreal to all, all of this. Because you can go through it. I mean, I'm sure lots of people, you know, people have been following this guy for a long time. Lots of people are probably in shock. Like, should we have seen this coming? Like I said earlier, there were a lot of jokes he would make, apparently, about, like, shooting, uh, or not, uh, stabbing Chris Chibnall or something. Like, stabbing-related jokes, uh, you know, and... A lot, a lot of stuff like that, so, I mean, I don't know. Uh, but that'll probably do it for the stream. I have a lot of other stuff to stream. There's also another guy recently who is a, a YouTuber who has been around for a while who did some wacky fucking shit, and that was gonna be the stream until this, until I woke up to this. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm cutting the stream a little short today. Um, I, I started it earlier, and I'm ending, I'm ending it a little... A little early because we're going to be doing Halo Night later on the server. Uh, but I will be trying to stream uh, some more stuff tomorrow. Like I say, there's Seth the Programmer. A uh, a Dragon Ball like anime power scaler. Which, I mean, okay, the guy is... The guy has supposedly done quite a lot of questionable stuff. But I, I have to tell you, I think the majority of the segment is going to be me molding over the concept of power scaling. And how fucking stupid it is. And how it's basically like... It's like... Re it's serious Ready Player One shit. It's just this like... Weird fucking brain goblin that some people have that's like... Oh, but I need to see Goku fight Homer Simpson! And they just need that. And, and I don't know. It's very strange. But also the guy behind the channel himself is like... A creepo and a weird drama guy who's, like, fucked over a bunch of friends, and there's a whole bunch of stuff there. There's also a Christian, uh, a Christian video channel that has a video called Why Anime is Evil. And it's, like, a fucking an hour long or something, and we watched, like, a little bit of it, and it was absolutely hilarious. And they have a bunch of other videos, like the Sergeant Pepper satanic agenda or some fucking shit, and they are 100% serious, and they use VTuber like, like model rig thing, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so we got a lot of stuff. Join us on the weekend, hopefully, unless there's, you know, unless I get lazy or whatever, but join us soon. We'll do more garbage. Uh, now I will be doing, uh, super chats here. I'll catch up on some of that. And, uh, you know, why not just play, why not just play some more, some more, uh, porcupine tree? Because In Absentia is an album about creepy serial killers and shit. So, I'd say it works a little bit. It works pretty well. Five bucks from Andy. 
Take my money, you dork! Hope you're doing good, Clawfather. I'm doing okay. I've been kind of feeling a little sick the past few days. Got like a scratchy throat, that kind of thing. But I, I don't know. I'm doing all right. Two bucks from Victor Martinez. Don't you have to say allegedly for now? I mean, I don't know at this point. Somebody was really adamant that he was a he was like found guilty, but I I feel like that's unlikely at this point. It's been way too quick for that. But maybe. I mean, I don't know how it works in Britain or Ireland or wherever he's from. Uh, five bucks from Prada with an O. What's up, YouTube? Today we're opening a brand new toy. Instead of a can of snakes, it's a can of worms. Yeah, we're real can of worms on this stream right here. Five pounds from Draco Logan 24. Hey, Claw, first time donating, and I just want to ask who your favorite romance option in T5 Royal is. Also, thoughts on Emerson Lake and Palmer. Thanks. Uh, Emerson Lake and Palmer is good. They're very good. I, a lot of people have. Uh, Ever, Emerson Lake and Palmer is one of those the more popular prog bands so anytime somebody wants to be a little dipshit and make like a little aside about like oh prog rock is stupid they usually make a joke about like oh he was listening to Emerson Lake and Palmer oh how dare he you know something like that uh, ELP is often used as the butt of jokes like that but they're a very good band uh, that's just because people are stupid Five bucks from Jordan. Uh, what's the intro song called? What was uh, the intro was uh, "The Creator Has a Master Tape" by Porcupine Tree, and we're currently listening to other songs from that that same album in absentia. Uh, five bucks from Baron Piotr Rangel. Thank you for the surprise stream, Clawfather. Hey, I wouldn't have done a stream today if it wasn't for the surprise murder. So really, you should be thanking that guy, but don't don't thank that guy. Uh, Ten bucks from Boggle quote-unquote, Boggle. Boggle. That's his full name. Boggle, Boggle, and his nickname is Boggle. I really like that. That's my favorite. You're Sorry, sorry, everybody else. That's my favorite new chat member. Ten bucks from Boggle, the Boggle. Boggle. I've uh, been watching since your Cuties Guy video and just wanted to show my thanks for the hours of entertainment, even though I'll be leaving because I watch these on archive. <laughs> Thank you for the entertainment. Hey, no problem. Uh, you're welcome. I hope you've been enjoying some of the recent videos, too. Uh, five bucks from Victor Martinez. I will never understand those that take other people's lives, l life. Well, here's the thing, right? It's like I said earlier, you know, it's, it's reprehensible to kill somebody unless it's like, you know, in self-defense or something or an accident, I guess. But it's, re it's reprehensible to premeditate the murder of like someone, you know, most people, let alone someone who was like your, your wife or your girlfriend or, or ex or whatever, uh, but it's the fact that she was pr 15 weeks pregnant at the time, uh, which really, like, I don't know if he, he had to have known that, I'm assuming. Allegedly, if he did it, you know, O.J. Simpson book over here. Uh, but, like, he had to have known that. So, you know, it's not even like, I'm not gonna say it's, it's like justifiable if he killed, just killed the woman, but it's like, I don't know, people have fits of rage and kill their significant others that that's like a thing that happens you know and it's it's, it's horrible it sucks but it's like it's not quite as bad as uh you know a pregnant woman that's that's repugnant uh, i sure hope he uh, allegedly i sure hope he does well in jail you know uh but you know i'm sure he totally didn't do anything five bucks from victor martina oh i read that one a dollar seven or a pound 79 from lucia lovecraft this happened not far from where i lived shocking yeah i mean i was watching a video from um explore with us who boy that that channel they have like the best subject matter for true crime videos but they also are one of the more annoying channels and the fucking narrator is like 500 percent too much but they had a video about this guy who was basically like, you know, he was lifelong friends with this girl and then she had like some money and he just like murdered her for the money, basically. And uh, he like was recorded on camera talking about it, like laughing or whatever. And it, I guess it reminds me of that a little bit. Like, I don't know, just having somebody in your life who you trust like that. And yeah, that's, that's pretty awful. Uh, five bucks from Girk Garb. Did you hear about... Sh uh, I don't know how to say the name, sorry. Shafrilas Productions getting into a horrible car accident. They killed his best friend and brother. Trolls are doing 3 a.m. Yeah, they always do that stupid shit. I don't know. That It's a horrible, horrible thing. I will I will say I, I'm not particularly uh, a fan of that guy's videos. I've seen a few. I, I, don't really, I don't really like them. But when I heard the news, I was uh, 
I was pretty pretty upset about that. Uh, that's that's awful. But he is recovering. I saw him tweet a picture of Adachi yesterday <laughs> on Twitter. He was like, "Look, it's a perfectly normal picture." So it's a horrible thing, but you know, at least he's doing okay. Um, but yeah. It sucks. A lot of YouTube related. There's also the Seth the Programmer guy. There's that. There's this fucking dude. Been, it's been a fucking week. Uh, Ten bucks from Squid Jones. Need some laughs, Clawfather. A man-child co-worker had a tantrum at work and tried to throw a metal chair at another co-worker's head. Good news is she's okay and was able to block it in time. Yo, Perry God, let's go! Uh, what the fuck? Was it like some incel terrorist man or something? Jesus. Like, a co-worker? A co-worker? Damn. Was this, like, that situation where the, 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 uh, the hotel guy was, like, recorded by the dude and he was, like, having a mental breakdown? And the dude was just like, look at this white boy! And it was like, sir, this man is just, is just having a problem. Uh, but I, I don't know. It's a co-worker. I mean, I don't understand if it was, like, a customer or something having crazy Karen rage, but you don't hear that about co-workers that often. That's, that's, that really sucks. Uh, because I also recently saw the video about, uh, the fucking, uh, the My Little Pony shooter guy, who, his thing was, uh, I think his, like, FedEx office or something. Really chilling stuff. Um, oh, and another fucking video, another one that I saw recently, this was, I think, a, um, Matt Orchard, or maybe Dave's Lemonade, or maybe someone else, I'm not sure, talked about the this guy, Travis uh, Ranking, I think was his name. And he was essentially this, like, gang-stalking dude who was, he made all these, you know, YouTube videos. He was convinced that uh, Taylor Swift and Ariana Grande were stalking him. And, like, it was, I was watching it, and I'm like, oh, this is, like, every fucking crazy person that we watch on one of those gang-stalking streams. And then you get into the horrible, horrible details of what he did to people and how he ruined people's lives forever. And it's like, it really makes you think, like, all of the crazy people we've ever looked at, there's, like, you know, all jokes aside, there is a good chance at least one of them, you know, I don't know. You, you gotta, you know, like, eyes on Breen. Eyes on crazy people. That's why we do this channel. We gotta make sure they're not up to something. Uh, we, not, we gotta make sure that Mr. Anime isn't planning something, goddammit. Uh. Jeez. That is, that is quite something, though. A man-child co-worker. Throwing a metal chair. Mental. Uh, five bucks from Party Cheese Salad. Any interest in another stream later tonight? Oh, sorry, no. We're doing Halo night later. But I will probably be streaming on the weekend. Maybe both days. Uh, probably for a while, I would say. Because I also want to do another Wheel of Trash soon. Uh, I have, like, specific stuff I want to look at, but then I also want to do just, like, Wheel of Trash stream. Uh, five bucks from Wiggly Fungus. Oh, sorry, the rest of that first, uh, super chat. Uh, would love to catch you off when I'm off work with a stiff drink. The trash man cometh. Yeah, sorry. Hopefully you can catch the archive of this one later, maybe. Um, five bucks from Wiggly Fungus. Hey, thanks for streaming during my break. Take my lunch money. I need my appetite to be ruined anyways. Well, you know, I am a bully stream, so get you giving me your lunch money is appropriate. <laughs> Not a bully stream. We've never bullied anybody except this potential murderer. Um... Five bucks from Just Larm. I get the feeling this is going to be a hard R gamer stream. Well, you know, uh, he sure was gaming. Gamer is going to game, you know. Um, he just didn't play the game of uh, getting... So, uh, I've been watching all of these, um, like, true crime videos. And I've been thinking, like, I really want to see a TV show. I might have to write it, like a TV series. Where it's basically like Death Note, but the plot is... Some character decides, I'm going to get away with murder. And I'm going to kill someone, and I'm going to commit... I'm going to stage the perfect thing. And, and like, the whole first season would be following, like, all of the the shit. Like, oh, oh well, they're going to think to do this, so I have to think three steps ahead and, and have a cover for this. Like, a whole season of that, and then, like, the second season could be, like, actually the murder's been committed and trying to, like, get away with it. I think that would be very interesting. I don't know if there's... I know there's the show How to Get Away with Murder, but I don't think that's quite... <laughs> that's quite the same thing. I, I don't know. I kind of want to see, like, weirdo true crime Death Note. I guess Death Note already is that, but... Uh, $50... I read this one earlier. $50 from The Plube. 
Here's from from one millennial boomer to another. Thanks for reminding us that we're relatively normal people and could all be worse. Yes, I like the term millennial boomer. That's true. I mean, I I I mean, I'm open to just accepting the term doomer at this point because like. You know, it's not my fault that every single day I have to read a new fucking headline about how the corporations are infringing on our rights to exist and squeezing us just a little bit drier of every fucking cent. You know, it's it's not my choice that I see that every day. Uh, it's not it's I don't want to be a doomer. I just have this thrust upon me. Uh, so I, 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 I prefer the term millennial doomer, but I, I gotcha, I gotcha. Uh, thank you for the 50, by the way. Yes, we could all be worse. We're all gonna make it to the moon. Two bucks from Bob Lom. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, and a happy, uh, Kwanzaa to you, sir. Uh, did you pre-record that super chat as an alibi? Five bucks from Gecko. How do we know this stream isn't pre-recorded and Claw's committing crimes right now? Hmm. Well, I mean, we know that Vinny pre-records pre every stream that he does. He scripts all of his streams and pre-records them. He's admitted this several times. So, I mean, I don't know. Vinny could be like the uh, the hash-slinging slasher or something. Uh, but I'm not. You, you can trust me. Even though I have a hook hand. I promise I'm not a murderer. Smiley face. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I sure hope I never end up murder murdering somebody, because the if if I ever had to murder somebody, I know that the moment that I do, I'm just like, oh god, I did say that on stream years ago, didn't I? Oh boy. <laughs> so I'm gonna make my best effort to never to never kill uh to never kill Ernest Klein for making Ready Player One, because then I would then I would be I would made a I would be made a phony on my stream, uh. Uh, 50 DKK from Galaxina. Drink every time he pretends being alive or fakes interacting with the chat slash, slash excuses being focused on the chat. True crime channels might look at this. Absolutely, yes. I'm also hoping to see maybe some kind of interrogation from him at some point. I don't know if that's super common in England but or Ireland or wherever he's from. But uh, yeah, I don't think he was really pretending to like interact with the chat or anything i think he was i think he says at some point in the stream like that he can't interact with the chat for some reason so i think that that's not really a thing but it's also that just at raises the question of like why can't you interact with the stream what excuse me that's confusing uh two bucks from victor martinez Will Vote Saxon 07's channel get taken down in time? I hope not, because as, you know, fucked up as the guy is, uh, it's, you know, I hope that people at least have time to archive his videos, because, you know, I don't know about the older stuff, but at least, you know, that stream in particular, I archived the stream, so if that goes missing, I have a copy of it, but, uh, the, the, the Violent Night stream, but... Um, yeah, no, there's probably a lot of little, like, psychological... This is interesting, because it's the same thing with, like, Mr. Anime or even someone like Game Dude, where you can go back and look at all of their content and just sort of see if you can fucking put the pieces together. Because, like, the, the Chris Chan documentary, a lot... One of those things... One of the things that people often said about that was, like, wow, it's alarming how much was foreshadowed early on in Chris Chan's saga that later, like, went on to become... The foreshadowing for Chris Chan is better than One Piece, let me tell you. Um, by the way, I just finished Drum Island. Uh, really cool little wordplay twist at the end of that. And, uh, the, the will of D lives on. It's a, it's a, it's a twist that would have been... If, if Hideo Kojima had done that, that would have been one of his, like, hot cold man fucking names that I would have just groaned a million times. But for some reason, One Piece is just wacky enough that they introduce what they introduce there. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? This works. I'm good. Oh, this, this, is, this is a good twist. There's no reason this doesn't make sense. Yeah, I'm on board for this. Uh, let me see. Ten bucks from... Oh, yeah, but to answer your question, Victor Martinez, he asked, uh, will the channel get taken down in time? Apparently a lot of Randy Stairs videos that weren't offending any of the rules were taken down. Uh, I, like, his whole channel was taken down. Um... And so it is a shame, you know, as I do think that these videos should be, like, studied by people, but I do think that YouTube might probably step in and, and get rid of them, and that's why I was struggling this morning to fucking get that stream to save. I only got it in 360p, so if somebody can save the proper version... Again, it might just stay up, like, for all we know. It might be up until he gets, like, you know, uh, sentenced or found guilty or whatever. Maybe then they'll take it down. It, it could, but, you know, I would say... 
I would say potentially begin archiving this guy's videos because there's a, a very good chance that they will be taken down, yeah. Uh, 10 bucks from Jamble Squawk. Uwu Kachu, Qua Daddy. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. What made you think you could say that to me? Just because you gave me money? Fuck you. Um, okay, no, it continues. Glad to catch you live, yif yif and away, and then in brackets. I was holding on to that for a week. It's unfortunate I had to release on this stream. All right. Well, that's fair then. All right, I'll give you one. This is a murder stream, so I guess it's... I guess it's fitting to have the worst thing I've ever seen. Five bucks from The Beast. Scott here, who's the degenerate today, Claw? Uh, well, it's this guy. Sorry, sorry you might have missed it. Two bucks from Victor Martinez. Not even Ken Rosenberg can help vote Saxon 07. Yeah, he's gonna need better legal counsel. Le le Bleh. He's gonna need better legal counsel. Counsel. I can't. I cannot speak. I was gonna make a joke about Ken Cocaineberg, but now that let, just move on past that. I bungled that that line like twice now. The, that's a real. Uh, what was the Rich Evans one like? Well, if he jumped off the building, he would have left a lot of ex exclamation. You just fuck it up. You just have to give up eventually. Uh, tw two bucks from Vu Fuzo. At least it's not the remastered version of Vice City. Yeah, that could that would have been truly degenerate. Uh, five bucks from Flatworm Steve. Yo, Claw, I recommend the indie game Pizza Tower on Steam. <laughs> Super fun and has a great soundtrack. Oh, I'm aware it. Um, people have been posting music from it in the uh, Funky Fresh Tunes chat on the the Discord. I haven't listened to any of them, but I've noted that a few a few tracks have been posted, so I guess people are vibing. I know the game is like kind of a you know, jabroni-inspired game, so to speak, and it's, uh, like, Wario Land-inspired? Which is great! We've been in need of a Wario game for, like, a fucking decade, or more. I mean, we had the Wii one, but, like, who cares? The real last Wario game was Wario World. Everybody knows it. I- I gotta say, by the way, I detest micro-games. Not because of what they are, but because of what they aren't. But Wario has such a cool cast of friends in that game, and I want to play a game where you play as, like, 9 Volt, or the fucking dude with the afro, or there's, like, a robot or something, right? I want that game! But no, we just get these stupid little fucking Flash games, and I... I'm, I'm, I'm too, like, my... My old man senses aren't attuned to the Flash games, so it's just, just nothing for me there. I'm like, man, everybody wants a new Wario where I'm sitting over here waiting for Wario Land 5! Potentially, that's Pizza Tower, from what I've heard about it. Uh, five bucks from Sugar Melody. Got out of a therapy to a live stream about an alleged murderer by my favorite cartoon bear pal. Thanks for the entertainment after an hour of feelings. Well, I hope this stream didn't didn't raise any more feelings. Uh, uh, bad ones, anyway. Um, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, hope, you, hope you're doing okay. Two bucks from Jelly Maggots. Sneaking in class to watch the, scre the stream. Hi, Claw. Don't do that. I don't want to have to exp I don't want to have to explain myself to your teacher. Um, oh, ah, oh, the dead, the, the the bear man was streaming about a murderer. Oh, Mrs. Pasternak, please don't put me in detention. Oh, I, I don't want to have to I don't want to be on the phone with your teacher. Don't 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 put this on me. <coughs> 2 bucks from Spiffy Fishface. Who plays GTA Vice City worse, DSP or Vote Saxon? I've never seen DSP play Vice City, I don't think. No, maybe I did, because he had a, like, this is how you don't play, right? For that. I remember, I've mentioned it earlier, I remember Mediker did a stream uh, about DSP, where he, like, thumbed over to his Twitch, where he was, like, live at the time. He wasn't initially talking about, like, his active stream, but someone in his chat was like, hey, Jim, he's, he's like, streaming now. And he went over, and it was him failing super hardcore at Liberty City Stories. And he just kept fucking flipping his car. He was so bad. He was like really next level. I mean, people have theorized that people people have theorized that DSP fakes his bad gameplay on purpose. And there, are, that was one of those times where I'm like, you have to try to be this incompetent, don't you? Like he flip. He was playing for like five minutes that that Medicare watched that stream or something. I don't even remember. It was like a while ago, but he was playing for not that long and the dude flipped like five cars. It was, it was fucking unbelievable. So I, it's, it's most likely DSP, but you know, again, DSP probably never murdered anybody because it would be hilarious to imagine if he did. Just like, oh God, they didn't tell me I need to get 
bags. They didn't tell me I needed to fucking wrap the room in, in tarp. Ah, oh, there's blood everywhere. Ah. Uh, five bucks from Digital Apex. I genuinely hope his stream was used in court of, uh, as evidence of his alleged murder. Well, like I say, it's such a long stream. I don't know. I don't know how it works with like investigators if they would comb through that whole thing as like evidence or whatever. I feel like that should be used as evidence, certainly, because there are a number of things in that stream that not only show his like state of mind and how sort of unhinged he's acting at this point in time, but also. He, like, directly, like, mentions the the victim's name and, like, daydreams for ten seconds about how great Christmas will be. And, like, yeah, that should be in court. It absolutely should be. Uh, two bucks from Zippy. No message, but thank you. Uh, five bucks from Party Cheese Salad. Uh, what if the stream of his stream was the only one they could use at trial for some reason? You'd have to change your channel name to Claw and Order. That's a, such an old... That's such an old pun, dude. I hope you didn't think that. I'm sorry to be rude, but I hope you didn't think that one was clever. That was, like, one of the first puns that I ever did when I was doing Claw Names. Um, claw Name puns. That was, like, one of the, fir the original ones. My current one on, uh, on uh, Discord is Clawhador. Who's still my favorite villain so far in One Piece. Apparently everybody hates Syrup Village. But Clawhador was just so unassuming and just like mild man manneredly scary. He didn't he wasn't so flashy about how fucking scary he was. He he seemed like competent in a way that like a lot of them a lot of them like the fucking Everybody likes Baratier? I did not care for it. The whole thing is just they punch fucking what's his name? Krieg or whatever. And he falls down, and then he gets up, and he has an even bigger specialer attack. And that's like the whole thing. It's, I mean, there's good parts, but I don't know. I preferred Syrup Village. Apparently, that's an unpopular opinion. I also like Usopp a lot, and that's also apparently unpopular. Um, let me see. Uh, two bucks from Ash. Oh, would streaming Condemned be too on the nose? <laughs> yeah, you know, Manhunt, Condemned, anything like that. Postal 2, maybe. I don't know. Uh, two bucks from Pip. Caught a stream. Howdy, Clawfather. Oh, you, you hooked one today. Good job. Uh, reel it in quick before it gets away. Uh, hello. Ten bucks from Spinny Spins. Why does he look like White Mudahar? <laughs> oh, that's, that's pretty good, actually. You're kind of right. A little bit. He also looks like every channel that's that ever complains about feminism in Star Wars. Which is a fair complaint, as we all know. But, you know, it's, it's just coincidental that he does look like all of the channels that complain about that. Uh, five bucks from... Oh, zero karmac karmatic frost zero. Bro, of course the first live stream I catch is a murder one, lol. Well, uh, I don't know if maybe you're new to the channel. We've had some new people as a result of that 4chan video. Uh, but if you, you know, uh, if you are, uh, this is the first time I've ever talked about a murder on this channel in this kind of way. Uh, there have been other crimes, certainly. Which some, some of which you might find more heinous, even. Uh, one of which, specifically. Uh, but, yeah, this is, uh, this is the first murder stream. I, I might well want to do, a, like, a true crime commentary stream at some point, because there are a lot of fucking moments in those interrogations where I'm like, Bro, what are you doing?! Like, I forget, there was one where his whole argument was, Oh, I have a bad memory, I just don't remember things. And then the cops kept asking him about little specific details. And he kept, of course, having an answer for all of them. And I'm just like, dude, it's the easiest defense. It's not the best defense in the world, but it's the easiest defense in the world to just go, I don't know, I don't remember. And you couldn't even do that? Seriously? You fucking moron? Uh, so... <laughs> So we might watch some of those at some point. I don't know. I don't know if YouTube would allow that. I mean, YouTube is very weird about, like, true crime shit, even though it's such a popular genre. They, like, suppress JCS for a while for some reason. Uh, so I don't know. I'd, I'd be willing to give it a shot, though. Uh, two bucks from Crosby M. Do we know what the method was of the murder? I'm not sure. Uh, like I've said, the guy has a lot of jokes about stabbing people or stabbing things. Uh, so... That would lead one to believe potentially stabbing, but I don't know. I haven't read any. Uh, the only article I've seen about this reporting on this in the news was the one that mentioned that this guy was uh, charged and arrested with the murder. 
Um, it, it did not... There might be another article out there somewhere that... Uh, like back from when it happened, maybe, that talks about how it happened or something. Um, I'm assuming that this is going to be something you see... Like, I'm talking about a true crime channel. I'm assuming that some of these channels are going to be, like, analyzing this dude in the future. Because this is... I don't know. This is a very weird case. You can... Again, all allegedly is all around if he's not been found guilty yet. But, I mean, you can see some fucking menace in his eyes in that Christmas stream. You can definitely tell that Mr. Anime is planning something. Um, five bucks from Autistic Wolf. I wonder if in his psychosis he decided to grief his ex and her unborn child. He thought he'd get double XP. Oh, God. Chat member, please. That's not funny. But, okay, it's it's very minorly funny, but not that much. Come on now. 420 from Noah Boat. What a creepy veneer he's making up. Yeah, I mean, he even seems creepy, but that even that is just like a smokescreen for how he actually is. Uh, five bucks from Crosby M. So gross that he planned to do the murder on Christmas. Yeah, that's another element to it. I mean, just literally like the, you know, you couldn't have done it like the day after or even, I don't know. That's, that's really fucked up, too. Uh, two bucks from Autistic Wolf. Two dollars to give us good fake psycho laugh at nothing. <laughs> there you go. Uh, two pounds from Krenra. Uh, check out his newer episode reviews. He gets mad. Well, uh, I don't think so. I think we're good, but, uh... To be fair, the newer episodes are terrible, so, I mean, at least we can... At least we can all agree on that. Uh, two bucks from Rocky the Drake. The same day he made GTA, he killed her at night. Yeah, well, no. He, he recorded that, like, a week in advance or something, so... Not exactly, but... You know, he was definitely... He got his mind on his murder and his murder on his mind. You know, allegedly. Uh, two bucks from Victor Martinez. I learned Nova Scotia means New Scotland in Latin. That's true, it does. Yeah. You also got the Scotia Bank, which is, like, Scotland Bank, I guess. Um... Two pounds from EC90. Two bucks for... Two pounds for epic murder stream. <laughs> Gotta give it up for... No, no, we're not doing that. Uh, five bucks from Ashyarb65. First time hitting a live stream. Keep up the awesome work, man. Been helping me while I got strep. I think I might have got strep or something, too. I've been having a weird scratchy throat lately. Eh, last couple days. Um, yeah, glad to be... Glad to be of assistance. Uh, uh, probably more streams tomorrow and maybe Sunday. Uh, 10 bucks from Justin Williams. Thanks for the show. No problem. Thanks for watching. 20 bucks from Milk Steak. Uh, no message, but thank you very much. Uh, two bucks from Victor Martinez. When does my name get to be on, on Swell Lads list? Uh, I guess it should be. Speaking of which, um, I've run into a bit of a snag with the Patreon thing. Uh, YouTube video descriptions have a 5,000 character limit. And I am now very close to bumping up against that limit. So I'm probably going to have to start crediting the $2 uh, people in, in the actual like end of the video thing instead of the description. Uh, which is probably going to... That's going to be a little complicated to do, actually, because of... Uh, because of... I don't know. It, the, the names are going to fly by so fast, I guess. But it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I'll, fi I'll figure it out. Um... Yeah, I, I, I am, I'm humbled to say that there's now so many $2 Patreons that, it, uh, Patreon people that it's like, it's, it's like too many for the video description. But, uh, yeah, you, you, you should probably wind up in there. Uh, I, I will keep that in mind. If I forget whenever I update it next, just, you know, hit me with a, hit me with a nuke or whatever to remind me. Uh, five pounds from Programmer in Process, in Progress, sorry. Keep up the good stuff. Well, thank you. Uh... You keep up the good programming. Don't become like Seth. Uh, we haven't even talked about Seth the Programmer yet. That'll probably be tomorrow. Five bucks from Emin Mephis. Praise the Golden Demise. Pray that he takes no mercy upon this incel murderer. Well, I don't know if he's an incel, technically, because he was, she was the ex, but very incel-ish kind of behavior. I mean, the Doctor Who doesn't help. Uh, two bucks from Squid Jones. Let Vinny out of the basement, you coward. Listen, he has to clean up the, the the centipede room, you know. He has to he has to clean up after his mistakes. It's not my problem. Uh, Ten bucks from Westside. Westside. I want a Luigi's Mansion slash WarioWare crossover. That's another one. I don't like Luigi's Mansion because it's I don't know. 
I never played that much of it. It, it just seemed like a... I, the the vacuum thing was like a weird gimmick I didn't really like, and it just felt felt like a a less interesting uh, Resident Evil, I guess. I know it's like completely different, but kind of the, kind of the same vibe a little bit. It's the the kid friendly Resident Evil. Uh, I am a little more interested in like Luigi's Mansion Three, I guess, because I saw some footage of that, and there's like a weird kaiju level. There's a lot of interesting stuff in that one. And also, it's set in a hotel, I think, which is uh, a setting that I'm more fond of than, like, Spooky Mansion. So I might just play that one, actually. I think I played a little of the second one on the D uh, the 3DS, and I didn't like that either. But I don't think most people like that. Um, let me see. Five bucks from Victor Martinez. There's this channel called Space Ice that makes reviews and jokes of Steven Seagal's films. I'm starting to realize that Seagal is a joke. Oh, Absolutely. Uh, a little, like, a few weeks ago, I went on a tear through, um, the Red Letter Media Bruce Willis videos, and then I watched a bunch of Seagal videos and, like, Bruce Willis geezer teaser reviews and stuff. I also have to shout out, uh, what is the channel called? Uh, it's, yeah, I think it's this one. Okay, so if anybody wants some interesting videos about bad movies, check out a channel called The Bad Movie Bible. They do, uh, they have a very, he has a very interesting video from a month ago called A Top Ten of Vanity Projects. And it's got, like, Gedevin and The Room and all of that, and, uh, and of course Neil Breen, I think, is just number one. Uh, so yeah, this is an interesting channel for weird... Speaking of which, actually, I think I'm probably soon going to make, like, a playlist, like a public playlist that's just sort of interesting videos I like, I guess? Uh, where it's like, hey... I found this weird video about uh, how much this guy likes elevators in video games. Here you go. Check this out. Uh, I think I might do that. So stick around for that if you want to see some recommended videos from me. Uh, weird things I find. Um, but anyways, that will uh, do it for us for the stream. Thank you everybody for stopping by. Uh, again, we're going to be doing another stream probably tomorrow or Sunday or both. Uh, I've got Halo Night with the boys in a few hours, so we are cutting into a little, a little, a little short here. I would have gone longer, but uh, yeah, Halo waits for no man. Customs and whatnot, you know, you got to play some speed. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, take it easy, chat. Uh, more garbage soon. Don't kill anybody. I'll know. I will know if you killed somebody. You won't get away with it, criminal scum. All right, thanks, penis.